hello 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 everyone happy monday so nice to see you all how are you all doing today thank you so much for popping into the stream i hope you all had a wonderful weekend wow we've got we've got the sun i think it's setting is it setting yeah the sun's moving down i always forget which way it rises this way sets over there in this world oh my gosh so nice to see everybody how are you all doing today i hope you had a wonderful restful weekend so we are back in the cozy long-term stream world again let's do a quick little fly around um you know business as usual business as you as usual we are going to be working on the cat city again today we made lots of progress um the other day friday on twitch exclamation point twitch if uh if you're not aware we stream on fridays there and saturdays as well now uh because we do something really fun called big tiny saturdays uh with my fiance big tiny duck so uh lots of content there also chat perfect segue if you are not aware of the twitch channel also we have a second channel where all of the vods are going to be going i've done a good job so far i'm very proud i've got one releasing today for you all and then i've got another one releasing sometime th next week i think it's exclamation point second okay the bot's not loaded in the bot is not loaded in i figured as much gonna have to make a couple of adjustments there um let me just like oh my gosh there we go Azzy, you are just, you are bot right now. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. So peep those second, uh, the second channel. Uh, we are close to a thousand subs on that channel. So thank you all so much for subbing to it. If you miss any of the Twitch streams or if you don't have a Twitch or whatever, head on over to that channel and the VODs are going to be there for you if, uh, if you don't have a Twitch account. So it's all there because we are doing some um, work in this world on Twitch. So it allows you all to just kind of see the progress that we make, uh, not on this channel. So in the last stream, what we did was, well, we collected all the cats and then we started working on the interior of this house towards the end of the stream. It's not even close to being done yet, but as you can see, we got like a bedroom, we got like a little bathroom here. I think it's like super cute, uh, with a little toilet and also a litter box for cats. So um we worked on that for a bit i don't think we're gonna work on this one today just because we started it on another platform we might as well continue it on a different one so i think what we're gonna do today is uh probably work on the interior for this one probably do two different apartments and just hang out collect some resources vibe um we've got all of the cats now which is awesome let me show you all around also welcome on in everybody so nice to see you uh enderman uh hi moon amy mrs dark fairy azzy steffi wayward welcome on in jody oh my gosh also lisa i saw you as well welcome 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 i hope you're all having a great day so we've got a bunch of cats in here in the fish shop and we've got a bunch of cats in here as well so all of them We've, co we've collected every single type of cat. We got the the achievement. I was so proud of that. So, so cool. So yeah, that's kind of like the, the vibe for today. We're just gonna hang out, build some stuff and uh, just continue working on this cute little spot. Eventually, I would like to get another build planned for this strip. I think I'd like it to be like three builds here. And for this area, I was kind of thinking I don't know. I don't know how big we want this like cat city to be. I mean, I guess we could always expand it as well, but I want something along here. I'm not sure what to do with like the waterfront though. I don't know what to do with the waterfront chat. And that's why I've only expanded it to here so far. Cause I'm like, hmm, do we preserve it or do we do something similar to this? You know what I mean? We could always kind of like taper this off. This is going to be more of a modern looking city similar to this one though. So I almost feel like we need something similar to this. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Can you believe January is almost over? Time flies. I know for real. January is always one of those weird months where it feels super like it's super long, but also like it was no time at all. It feels like a, a blur because you're, you're just kind of getting over the holidays and getting back into routine. So it's really bizarre. Ryder, welcome on in. So nice to see ya. All right, I'm gonna start off by getting us some food. 
and then we'll get into building and stuff. Player, welcome on in. How you doing? Also, thank you so much for asking. I had a great weekend. Uh, very restful. Uh, I went to the gym yesterday. On Saturday, we did a stream. We played some Fortnite. That VOD will be up uh, later this week. It's all ready to go. Just had to schedule it. And then uh, we went to see a friend over the weekend. Had some pizza. It was awesome. Super, super fun and relaxing time. The weather's been kind of weird, though. It's been, like, weirdly warm. And I'm just, like, not used to that, you know? Like, I think the weather fluctuation has been giving me a ton of headaches and stuff because one week it's, like, super frigid and very, very cold. And then the next week it's, like, super humid, you know? Just had my matcha protein shake ready to party. Oh, that sounds delicious. That sounds absolutely delicious. Um, we don't have a bakery yet. Actually, that's a really good build that we could add as well. A bakery and also I think like a library, even though we technically have a library being built in the other city. I mean, this is a different town. It needs its own library. So we have a cafe, a plant shop, a fish shop. I also feel like we should build, I don't know how we would do this, a yarn shop or something. Textiles maybe in the cat city. Bakery, of course. And then, um, what was the other one I said? I forget. But I feel like those are all good options for the cat city. A jungle gym area for the cats. You know, they like to be up high, so maybe some trees and seating in the air. That's a great idea. Maybe we could do like a little, um, a little park. Actually, you know what? Hold on. When we fly back, I have a, a good potential spot for that. I feel like a little community outdoor par park would be amazing. Cats hate water, and I think they would have walled any water out. That's a very good point, actually. Very good point. Uh, let's get rid of this. There we go. Boat dock in honor of the military boat cats? Military boat cats? What are those? Yeah, we could do like a boat dock of some sort. Actually, you know what we could do? We could do a boat dock with like a little port that where that's where like maybe like the fish supply comes from. You know what I mean? It would be kind of like an extension of this build where we could have something that like receives all the stock. So I'm wondering if we should have a little port. Maybe make it like the same height as this one. But actually build something next to it. I feel like that could be kind of cool. Let me get rid of this. It's warming up. Only had my heating on a couple weeks this year. Now I had to turn it back on in a few days. Okay, you know what? That's blessed though. Not having to like pay a crazy amount for heating. That's kind of like the same with us. Our heating, we haven't had to keep it that high throughout. And honestly, thank God. Our hydro bill has not been terrible this year. I get you with the change of weather. Yeah, that's the only like downside. I feel like my joints hurt. My head hurts. <laughs> so... In terms of um, the little park area, I feel like something around here could be really cute. I built this like semi custom tree a while back and I feel as though having a little designated area with like a jungle gym and cat trees and stuff around it could look really cute. Maybe what we could do is we could make like, um, I've done this before. Let me see if I have more fencing. We could do like a little thing with like banners and stuff. Let's lay out a little idea. I know we're supposed to be working on the interior, but hey, we, we've got lots of time today. We've only just begun. All right, let's go get a couple of supplies. I try to uh, organize a bunch of stuff in between streams. They would have left some water for drinking and free fish. That's very true. It's a necessity for them. I love how we're really fleshing out like the lore of this area. Have I ever been to Ireland? No, I haven't. I've been to Scotland and um, England, not Ireland yet. It is on the list though. I would love to go. We almost, last time we booked our trip, we almost uh, landed there, but have not. Oh gosh, here we go. Big tiny duck. Maybe a statue of me in a fountain. Do you want to be like the cat overlord, Big Tiny Duck? Is this what you're requesting? Because I do have to still build a statue of you. 
So that could be an option. <laughs> I can't believe I'm allowing this. Watching your YouTube after uh, after so long due to school, I finally have time to relax and watch your streams. All Rose, thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. What is your favorite cat? Gotta go Calico. My real life cat, Ruth, is a Calico and they're just so cheeky and like smart. I love them. They're so funny. I feel like she has so much personality. I've also met like a, had met a couple other cal Calicos throughout my life and they've all kind of been like that. Love the warm weather, but it makes me nervous for the world. No, literally. Same. I'm like, oh, it's warm. And then I'm like, oh, it's warm. <laughs> Just lurking today while writing. No worries, Kimberly. I hope the writing's going well. Reaper Kitty, welcome on in. So nice to see ya. Yeah, we need a BTD fountain. I think that's like, I think that's on the list. Is that where you want it situated though? The cats all like worship you. I feel like that's kind of in line with you, IRL. Cats really do love you, so... Love your builds. Oh, Carlos, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you for coming into the stream. All right, let's get some fencing and then some banners. I'll show you my idea that I had in mind. Mm, leaves I have back at the base. You have a ginger cat? Oh my gosh, ginger cats are so sweet too. My cousins had a ginger cat when uh, we were growing up and she was the sweetest thing ever. Her name was Phoebe. I love that name for a cat. It was so cute. She was such a sweetie. She was a little troublemaker, but I loved it. All right, uh, let's get some stuff over here so what i'm thinking of i forget what these are called they're like the little overhangs we've all i think we've all like kind of discussed these before but if we do something like this we could attach like a bunch of like banners and leaves to them oops something like this Should be an okay shape to start with. Yeah, something like that. And then in between, we could put some leaves, some lighting for sure. Maybe a couple banners, you know? You know? What are the places you dream to visit? Ooh, I really would love to go to Japan one day. I know that's like a very big trip to plan. Um, I would still love to like, I haven't been to any place like uh, Netherlands, Germany would be amazing as well. Um, honestly, there's so many places I want to go. So many places. I would love to check out Ireland, like we said. Um, that's definitely on the list as well. I do. Lo I really love travel. Really, really love travel. Don't get to do it often, but I have lots of places on the list. Can we build a cargo ship? Eventually, yes. I would love to add a bunch of ships to the river. It would um definitely add a lot of life to that area. I think we're we're definitely due for uh some decorations like that along the water. I'm not too great at cargo ships, but that that would be a really fun project. Awnings. No, awnings. Yeah, no, it's on awning, but it's what is it? Somebody in chat's gonna know. The one orange brain cell subreddit is one of my faves for cats. Oh my gosh, I have not seen that subreddit. I will have to look. Oh, that one's not connected. I have to fix that. Hold on a second, chat. Hold on a second. Ginger cats are sweet, but they're insane when they get the zoomies. Oh my gosh, yes. I feel like they are more of a high energy cat for sure. Ruth gets like... I would say Ruth does get the zoomies. I would say her zoomies are very standard. If that makes sense. She she gets them like in the evening, of course, in the mornings. But I would say she's got like standard zoomies, you know? Nothing too crazy. But I would I would also say she's like a menace. Like she knows she knows how to push our buttons and she knows when she's doing something wrong and she'll like just continue to do that and I think that's hilarious. Like good for her, you know? Oops. 
All right, let's fill this with leaves all around. I don't know what this is called. If anybody in chat knows, shout it out. Do I watch Emma Chamberlain? Um, I've watched her before, yes. I have watched some of her vlogs before. She's in a bunch of like her kind of like travel style videos too. I have seen some of her videos. There we go. I like that style for lanterns. Is it a bunting? Is that what it's called? Gazebo's more like a structure. I'm gonna look it up. Bunting is, I think that would be closest because that's like the ribbons on a string. I feel like it's kind of like that. Pergola, maybe. All I'm seeing is overstreet banners poles. Yeah, that's that's basically what it is. There's got like I'm sure there is like a name for it, but I'm not, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe we could get like a couple banners up in here too. I don't know if that'll look silly though. Have to be careful with how we place them because they could look like a little bit awkward. My boyfriend's cat is a ginger cat and he never had a zoomie in his whole life. What? He's just vibing. Can we build a park behind the bun the bunting? That is pretty much the plan that we're going to be going for, for sure. That is the plan. I don't think we're going to do it today, though. Um, we're probably just going to, like... Just put this here as like a little a little reminder that we're going to start building stuff. But it'll definitely be done another day. If I did this. Ooh, this looks like kind of good. Why can't I place something there? Oh, probably that trap door. I don't know if that's super messy. These I don't like how these ones are like right next to each other, but I kind of like the idea that we're going for with this, you know? I actually really like the banners. I just need to, like, figure it out a bit more, if that makes sense. Maybe we could do something like this. Boom, and then, like, a green one up there somewhere. There we go. How's this looking? Looks kind of like big leaves. Yeah, totally. I think that's really cute. I, if anything, we can make some of the lanterns um, go down a bit further, like maybe the middle one. But I, th I think that's adorable. Heck yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. So it's uh bunting's the most accurate pergola is more like a mini archway walkthrough yeah i feel like pergola has like more structure to it if that makes sense i really like this though i think that's super cute froggy thank you so much for the 16 months oh my gosh 16 whole months thank you so much i'm a big fan thanks for all the great content i often watch your vids to relax and feel peace at night love you all froggy well same goes to you your vids are ultimate coziness. Also, chat, just letting you know. Froggy's been uh, doing a lot of commentaries, commentary long plays lately. So make sure you go check those out. Because they're speaking of relaxing content. Come on. So make sure you go check those out too. Froggy, thank you so much for the 16 months. I really appreciate it. Big, big swags. And so good to see ya. Yeah, I think this is looking uh, really cute. I'm happy with that. And then once you, once we actually get this leading into like a proper park, it's going to look really cool. That's fresh. That is fresh. Dang. All right. So that's done. Now, basically, what I want to start on now is working on the interior. Let's free cam into it because I don't have an entrance yet. I want to make these into like two separate apartments. 
So what we're gonna have to do is something similar to like this staircase, although it's gonna have to wind up even more. I want it to look more like a fire escape staircase. How did I do that last time? I ended up doing stone and just a bunch of iron bars. We can probably uh, do something similar again today. I'm trying to think if there's another type of material that would look a little bit more like metallic and industrial for stairs. I really wish you could make concrete stairs. I really wish you could. Let's see what we got though. Maybe, um, maybe like diorite or something or andesite would be good too. I'll make videos. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my bad. My mistake. Is this cat town? Yes, it is. We are working on cat town today. We got all the cats the other day too. It was awesome. Uh, yes. Welcome on in. How you doing? Love that name. <laughs> I don't make videos. I make art. Iron trap doors. Ooh, like along the sides, you mean? Iron trap doors would work too. Also, if we do iron trap doors, because they always fall sideways, we could do those like in between the stairs. That would work. Same uh, regarding concrete variants. I know. I pray. I pray one day we will get those. All right. What do we got? We got to get something like more industrial looking. So wood is out of the question. I feel like diorite. Mm, maybe not polished. Deep slate could work. Brick. No. Mud. No. No. These are too dark, I think. I'm kind of thinking maybe diorite. Finally caught your stream? Heck yeah, welcome on in, Cassie. Hope you're doing well. Aw, oh, Bones, I'm, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you feel that way. Yeah, we're all, uh, we're all a community here. I love that you all, like, chat amongst yourselves. Lots of regulars always chatting with each other. It always makes me so happy to see. All right, I'm going to try maybe diorite and also some andesite for this. And then the iron trap doors in between could look cool. I think especially with the um, the diorite. Love your videos. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, ba, 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 iron trap doors. I think I put that in decorative. I've got two. We we need these bars for sure. Let me get some more iron. Oh my gosh. Also, chat. I need to show you something. <laughs> this happened again. Okay, so the other day. Oops, it's nighttime. The other day we were trying to get a bunch of cats and we were like, okay, an easy thing to do would just be to make sure there's tons of villagers around us and then they'll start spawning. I don't even think this ended up working for some reason. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> one of the things we were doing, we were like, <laughs> oh gosh, we were like, should we, should we just turn on like the villager breeder? Absolutely. Yeah. It'll spawn cats. One, I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked. There's no cats around here, as you can see. But I forgot to turn this off and look how many villagers we have again. <sighs> I think we might have to bring out the lava bucket. <laughs> look at how many we have. Last time this happened, it it made so much lag on this world that like I, I had to lava bucket half of them. <laughs> Your buildings look phenomenal. Thank you so much, uh, Jetski. I really appreciate it. Mist, welcome on in. Do I validate parking? Unfortunately, um, there's no parking validation over here, except maybe I check, check with the, check with the plant shop. They might. <laughs> but hello, welcome on in. Also, please, please try not to spam as well. All right, let's uh, make some more iron trap doors. First, I think I'm going to try to make the diorite stairs, though. I might do a mix of polished. Let's see how it looks. Not the lava bucket. It might have to happen. I'm just saying. <laughs> Some people are like, don't bring out the lava bucket. Others are like, <laughs> bring out the lava bucket. Uh oh. Drift, it looks like you might have to use the lava bucket. 
Oh, wait, wrong thing. There we go. Iron trap doors, stairs, slabs. Good to go. You know what else we could do? Oh, you know what? No. Okay, I was thinking. Can we put... This is probably going to be a, a straight up no. This is going to be a no. But I'm going to try it anyway. Because some fire escapes have, like, the stairs that, like... Or the ladders that hang off. I'm like, can we hang these on? No, you can't. No! I was hoping you could. Because the problem with iron trap doors is if you want them to be sideways, you have to, like, redstone them. Which kind of stinks. It, it gives... It takes away the, like, illusion that I'm looking for. Can we put them on these? No, you can't. So we might need to use, like, full blocks for that part. Or trap doors, but I don't know what type of trap door would look good for that. The iron one would be perfect, but making them not... Making them horizontal is such a pain. I guess what I could do is... That doesn't make sense, though. I want it attached to, like, the fire escape. It's, like, the whole point, you know? Make them houses and give them beds. I know, I know, but there's too many now. Listen, if you, if, if you have too many of the villagers, it's just so much lag. So much. I wonder why the cats, uh, didn't spawn in. Does it require villagers and beds? Probably. I think that's probably it, Cloud. I think you're right. I think they have to pathfind to, like, a bed or something. I'm not sure how to say this, but my dad passed away two years ago today. It's nice to have the stream here to help cheer me up, though. Oh, Reaper Kitty, I'm so, so sorry to hear that. I'm so, so sorry. I'm glad this stream's here um, for you, though. But I'm, I'm also very, very sorry about that. Yeah, I think the, um... I think that would have definitely looked neat. The problem is if we do this, we have to have it attached. A traditional fire escape, it would be like hanging off, unfortunately, but I think I'll just kind of like forego that idea, you know? I know the villagers are doing their best. They're just vibing. <laughs> oh man, poor villagers. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is kind of start off with these guys and then let me also get some grass just to patch up some areas. Yeah, big, big hugs for Reaper Kitty. It's Friday stream at the same time as Monday. Uh, this is always the time that my wife gets home so I can never stay for the entire stream. Yeah, we start at 12 uh, EST on Fridays. However, if there's anything that you miss, I'm working on getting all the VODs up now on the second channel. So, um... So the VODs will always be up there a couple days after if uh, if you're looking to catch up on stuff. If there's cats too close to the village, I think it counts towards the cat cap even if they're tamed. Okay, that would also make a lot of sense too because we have a ton of cats very close by. Like, the villager breeder, the fact that it was actually actively working while we were over here probably means that these cats that we have right now would count towards that for sure. Ladders on trap doors. That's what I'm thinking. I'm kind of thinking maybe just, like, getting a couple of trap doors. Like, maybe, um... What would be the closest that we could get? Honestly, maybe mangrove would look kind of cool. Or jungle. Spruce is, like, too dark in comparison to, like, the diorite. Bamboo would be kind of a vibe, though. You know? I'm almost like, do I just make, like, bamboo... A bamboo fire escape at the back? I don't know. Let's go with this first, and then we'll see. Because you only really need, like, a couple of trap doors um, for... Like to hang off it it wouldn't go all the way to the bottom if that makes sense we also kind of like want access to the top of this but that's okay um let's try this oops what am i doing here 
Oh wait, that's on the outside of the block. Hold on a second. How am I doing this? Okay, like this. So you get one here, right? And then one here. And then, did I put the ladders away? I think I did. I think I gave up on the dream too soon, but I'm gonna try it. My villagers somehow managed to phase through walls or something, so I keep finding van random villagers around the place. Ooh, I wonder what happened. There's gotta be some, there's gotta be like some breach within the build. Nothing's worse than when you accidentally let villagers loose and then they just like pathfind all of like the barrels and stuff that you built with. You're like, that's not for you. Those are decoration. I'll stop it. And they're like, huh. Oh, villagers. If they didn't want us to lava bucket villagers. They wouldn't have made, they would have made them fire resistant. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? <laughs> what was I to do? <laughs> okay, so let's do like iron trap doors along here, right? And then what we could do is like diorite in between. I actually feel like this is gonna look pretty cool. Oops, gonna have to get rid of that one. So this one would actually technically be an entrance to one of the apartments like right here. Is that a good spot? I think so. I feel like these are gonna be like two bedroom apartments, you know? The, the last one that we built was like, it had the whole two floors. We're not done it yet. We're gonna finish this on uh, Twitch on Friday. But this one's like one whole apartment. This will be like one floor per apart, one apartment per floor. So. Let's see. I feel like it'd be fun if it like kind of like winded up a bit like this, you know? I'll break all of the blocks, like the connecting blocks afterwards, but I just need these for like placeholders. So we need to get to this spot up here. If you're able to move them all away more, we'll spawn in time or honestly just breed the ones you have now. Yeah, exactly. We have all of the cats now, so it's like, we are good to go. Good to go. Okay, this looks a little, a little funky right now, but I think I can make this work. I think I can. We just need to attach like a bunch of bars to it. Fire escapes are like kind of tricky to make, honestly. But I think we kind of did it. The only problem is like, how am I logistically gonna get up into these apartments? <laughs> so, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This kind of makes sense. If it looks really wacky right now, but I think if we just attach all of the iron bars to it, it's good to go. Didn't know about the VODs until you said it earlier. Uh, we'll check it out. I was respectfully avoiding the second channel because you play other games there and I don't want to get to know other games. Hey, no worries on that. I understand that. Totally understand that. <laughs> yeah, because then you want them. You want to play them all the time. No, I get it. I get it. There's not enough time in the world for Minecraft and other games. You know what I mean? Minecraft just like is all consuming. And I mean that in a good way, but... <laughs> It's like, I barely have enough time for this game as it is. I'm gonna drop off some of the blocks that we uh, kind of like popped out because they're just clogging up the inventory. Like that villager who got in the way and destroyed Greg. Oh my gosh. The, the story of Greg will forever live on in our hearts. Boom, sweet boom. Are you kidding me? Yeah, the, we've had villagers in this world kind of be responsible for some like really big catastrophes. So it's pain. It's just pain. Is the lava bucket your go-to method? Honestly, yes, because then the other villagers don't get mad at you, you know? How many days have you survived in this world? So we are on 
our day counter said we were on like over day 3000, but it's definitely more than that because our world got, this world got corrupted a long time ago. And I think before that we were at least like a thousand to 2000 days in. I would say this is like at least 5,000 days old. Have you seen the dude that made the sick complex out of Legos? No. Huh? If you have a Discord, feel free to share it in the, the kickback Discord for sure. I would love to see that. It's 1 a.m. at my time zone right now, but you're watching the live, although I'll have to work tomorrow. Think it's worth it? Hope you get that sleep, though. Don't forget you need to get that sweet, sweet sleep. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope it's at least relaxing you so you can get a good rest. Have we completed the cat advancement? Yes, we did. We did on um stream on Friday. We finally got all the cats. The last ones we were waiting for were the black cat and the jelly cat. And we found them, ye not yesterday, Friday. So, so happy about that. Oh, that was actually like a really fun achievement to uh, do as well. I mean, like, I don't know if it'll ever happen, but I don't think we'll ever like get all the rest of like the animals and stuff, but I would love to try and get some of like, what is it? The parrots chat? There's parrots. There are, um, what else is there? The pandas. There's different types of pandas. Tropical fish. There's like. 30,000, so I don't think that's happening for me. Let's be real. I'll get like 80 in and then I give up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got the achievement for the cats and that was super fun. There we go, just building up railings for the fire escape fire escapes are like very interesting structures you know I'm trying to make it make sense something like this and then that's there the ladder it looks a little bit goofy but i think it works it's very like um very iron bar heavy. I mean, this one is two, I suppose. I think we just need like other stuff surrounding it and then we're good. But I think like the, like for the most part, it makes sense. While we're working on this today though, what I'm gonna do is just have like scaffolding underneath this. Cause once we're done, we'll probably like never go into these structures. But I mean, this at least works for now. Might have to, oops, what happened here? Hmm, that's tricky, isn't it? I could just do that, I suppose. Might need a little bit of tweaking for the design of this, but I'm happy with it for now. Swan, welcome on in. How you doing? On my own, uh, on my Minecraft world, my two Alays drowned one of my cats, so I always lock up the Alays. <laughs> Okay, that's like really bad. I'd be really upset if the Elaze did that to my cats. Wait, how did that happen though? Banana, welcome on in. How you doing? Just put some pots with trees and flowers uh, to deco. Will totally look better and mimic fire escapes from everywhere. Lisa, that's a brilliant idea. You know what? That reminds me of my fire escape at my old apartment because we had planters out there. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna put away some of this stuff because I don't think we need it. And then we'll add some pots and all of that stuff and we'll be good to go. Alrighty, where do I put stone stuff? Right here. And then, you know, this stuff maybe I should just leave with me. I will grab like some, I need plants. So I'm gonna grab some ferns and then maybe just like saplings. I love that idea. Oh yeah, add leaves too, good call. 
They pushed my sitting cat into a lake as they were flying around on a lead. Oh my gosh, I would actually be genuinely very upset about that. Swain, welcome on in. How you doing? I was on the top floor and had the fire escape to the roof. Uh, was a total garden around the window. Oh my gosh, that sounds so lovely. So, so lovely. Yeah, we were on, we had a, a fire escape um, outside our bedroom window and it was shared with our neighbors. In the summer, they would grow like tomatoes and stuff, which was really cool. And the nice thing was being able to like stick your head out the window and just like say hi to your neighbor and chat with them. So fun. I never really sat out there because I'm a little bit afraid of heights. Um, but our neighbors always did. They always had like coffee out there in the mornings and stuff. It was very lovely. I was just a little bit too afraid. Don't really like heights too much. Yeah, I don't know what I would do if one of the LA's got my cats. I'd be so sad. So I'm gonna add some leaves around like the bottom part, like that. Make it look just a little bit overgrown. Panda bear, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're having a great Monday. And then flower pots. Some would look cute here, but then also I would love to get some like on the actual iron bars as well. Where'd I put the pots? Did I? Oh no, classic drift. I put the brick in my inventory and not the pots. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, the ocelot. We will get to the ocelot, um, probably not today, but during the Cat City extravaganza. I would say probably next, um, next Twitch stream for sure. Just because we're going to have to walk with it. Not afraid of heights, just afraid of falling. Yeah, heights. I didn't think I was afraid of heights for a while. And then I remember my sister used to live on like the 38th floor of an apartment. And I remember going to her place and going out on the balcony and just like kind of looking down and being like, yeah, I can't handle this. This is too much. It would make it would make my my legs shake. It was awful. Oh, why is that cute though? I like that. We could also put like a little lantern and stuff out there too. Just like on the um, edges here. Just need a couple more bricks, or sorry, pots, and then we're good to go. I'm not afraid of falling, just afraid of landing. Yeah, it's all about how you're gonna land, huh? Not being the best Monday because I'm not feeling good. Uh, I'm sleepy, but I'll be good tomorrow for school. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. Effects are welcome on in. So nice to see you. I hope you had a good weekend. We're working on some Cat City stuff. I love the Cat City. It's so funny. I think it's actually looking like really cute too, though. I think we've done a good job of it. All right, let's make some more flower pots. Got 15, maybe like one or two different flowers as well. We got space in our inventory. Plants, let's put away the ferns. We've got enough of those. Same with the saplings. Oops. And then plants, we get like a cactus and Maybe some, mm. this one. I like this flower in the pot. Azure Bluette. Ah! Sev! Oh my gosh, homie, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. My weekend, weekend was short but sweet. How about you? Oh. You know, even, even a weekend that flies by, even if it, as long as it's fun, you know? Nothing worse than when you're like busy all weekend and it wasn't like anything super fun and it just flew by. But if it's short and sweet, that's good as well. Ours was, um, you know, ours felt like weirdly long. I think because we had our days packed with like really random stuff. Like Saturday morning we streamed and then we had to like go to our friends for dinner. And then on Sunday, it's like I managed to go to the gym, all of that stuff. So it was really nice actually. It was uh, a good weekend. 
I felt like we accomplished a lot. We also um didn't have time to get our groceries done this weekend, so we had them delivered, which helped out a lot. That definitely saved us some time, I would say. Whee! Bamboo. Oh yeah, bamboo would have been good too. I love bamboo in pots. It always looks so nice. All right, I think that's good for now. Trellis. Is that what is that what it's called? Oh, like a trellis on the side. Oh my gosh. Okay. We should add that to the back too. That would be really cute. Can do that with like um like ladders and trap doors and stuff. I usually use oak actually. A, a trellis would actually look very good here. Um but what was I going to say? You know what rocks? That mod. I forget which mod it is. You can you can like make trellises though. I'm going to make one on the back there. It's been a hot minute since I've done that in a world. You just ate Mackie's again? Nice, nice. What'd you have? Weekend was way too short and cleaning um and week rest and babies going through a, gr a growth a growth spurt. Oh my gosh, I bet that can be uh definitely chaotic. I know sometimes the weekends just feel a little bit too short. I hope regardless, you still had some good moments of rest though. Pergola. Okay, let me look up pergola really quick. Just to make sure it's what I envisioned. Oh, a pergola could be nice too, like a little garden area. Let's get oak. Got a bunch of trap doors, which is good. My friend came uh, over from Germany and we spent the day walking around central London, just randomly grazing and sightseeing. She knows more about London than I do and I was born here. Oh, I love that. That sounds so fun though. London's such a beautiful city to explore. I feel like every time I go there, it's, well, it's huge. So like every time I go there, it's just like, I don't know. I see something completely new, even if I've been to that area before. It's wild. Such a beautiful city. Should I make these like stick out? No, I think I like that. Lisa. Oh my gosh. With the 20. Thank you so, so much for the kindness. Thank you so, so much. Uh, for the generosity and the, the super chat. Thanks for the streams and vids. Thanks for actually incorporating some of my ideas into your build. Gives me the warm fuzzies. Also gives me ideas on trying to learn how to build in-game. Oh, no. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful, wonderful suggestions as well. Like I said, especially this world is basically like a cooperative effort with stream. We all just kind of bounce ideas off of each other. And it's... This world wouldn't be anything without you guys. It's super fun. I, I'm glad you all appreciate like giving input and stuff like that. It's, it's, I always have so much fun. So thank you so much again. I really appreciate that. Big, big swags. Have you thought about making a skyblock series? So I do have a one block skyblock series. Um, I think I have the full movie posted as well if you want to check it out. I would eventually maybe one day like to try the OG skyblock because I did one block and it was really fun, but I feel like um traditional skyblock would be like a really fun challenge as well all right um hmm so what should we do for flooring so we're gonna do two floors Oh, wait, we have jungle here. Did I do jungle here as well? Oh my gosh, this is like the landlord special, am I right? Oh gosh, okay, so... I mean, I could do a different <clears throat> different type of flooring. Maybe the top floor got renovated along the way. You know what I mean? I don't really want to do... We could do like tile in one room and then like... Different floor in the others. What I want to do though, I think, is I want to do... Okay, in this apartment, we did... Con concrete white concrete ceiling i know it looks like very flat but i think it kind of works you know what i mean however 
We did try the quartz. My one gripe with the quartz was, I don't think I have it in here anymore. Oh wait, I do. <clears throat> it kind of looks like industrial tiling, you know? So I'm wondering if like there's a different type of block we could use. Maybe like white terracotta would be nice. I wish there was another type of block that would just give like a little bit more, a little bit more texture, I guess. Cause this looks like industrial tiling. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I don't know. It's either that or we just like kind of stick with jungle or something that would work well as like flooring and ceiling. You love the one block series? Aw, Sev, thanks. I appreciate it. I had so much fun with that one. It was like very cheeky and just like chaotic. My cat tartar sauce is right there and it gives me warm fuzzies every time you walk past them. Aw, I love it. Love it. Tartar sauce is a tartar sauce is a great cat. Hi, Tartar. How's it going? <laughs> Ooh, polished diorite. Let's try that. That's a good one. That might be it. That might be the one. Is it the one? Let's see. Ooh, bone blocks a good one too, actually. Oh, calcite. Calcite's yo. Calcite would be like closer to like marble flooring or like laminate. That's a good one as well. Okay, I'm gonna try like a couple of strips of like different things. So this will be diorite. And then we've got, let's go get some calcite really quickly. Snow could be a good one too. It won't melt, right? Calcite can't slab, unfortunately. I don't think. See, Paul, diorite would be good because we could turn it into slabs, which would give us a little bit more like breathing room for the top uh, part of like the bottom build. So. Let's try calcite. Another one with snow blocks, which could look really cool. Try that really quickly. Let's see, snow, 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 adventure loot. I feel like packed ice that could actually be like a really cool floor. You'd probably slip on it though, right? Oh yeah, bone block, bone block. Okay, I don't know if I have any. That would be under nether loot, I think. No. I'd have to, I'd have to go get some really quickly. Oh, stream elements bot. Thank you so much for the hydrate. <laughs> I actually do need to hydrate. I think bone block could be cool. Doesn't it have like, calcite has a great sound, but doesn't bone block have kind of a cool sound when you walk on it? Oh yeah, bone meal can just be turned into it. I always forget that. All right, there's snow. Then there's calcite. Oh, the calcite looks really good. We just can't turn that into slabs, which I don't think it really matters. Wait a second. What we could do, oh my gosh, chat. We have so much more room than I realized. Hold on a second. Uh oh. Let's grab that really quickly. These don't have to be resting down here. They can actually rest like one block higher. So we've got lots of space. The last one's bone block. We'll put a, a strip there and then we'll decide. The, the, the ice block those skating rink anyone? <gasps> that just gave me an idea. I am, listen, I think I need to embrace my Canadian-ness and build a, an ice rink somewhere in this world. It's water time, glug, glug. <laughs> Apathy, thank you so much for the hydrate. <laughs> glug, glug. All right, let's get some bone meal and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Bone block sounds so musical. Okay, why do I want this just purely for the sound now? Tough sounds amazing too. Tough is a, I love the crunchiness of tough, of tough blocks. It sounds so good. 
Is it four that we said or is it a full? Okay, it's a full like eight or nine or whatever it is. Let's try this. Ooh. What are we having for dinner today? Oh my gosh, Sev. For dinner, we are having... Okay, we have these frozen meat pies. I love meat pies. They're so good. So frozen beef pies, they're like these little guys. We're heating those up. And then we're going to need some mashed potatoes and veggies on the side. What's everybody's uh, dinner plans for tonight? Not the food talk. I got to go eat now. <laughs> so you're like, you know what? This is just going to make me hangry if I don't eat right away. <laughs> Yeah, me trying so hard not to mention food. It's impossible. You know what? Okay. What's everybody's favorite? I mean, we could we could do the bone blocks like like um the other way as well like this. I feel like the texture's a bit much though. I kind of like just like the regularness of it. Can I get a little bit more light in here though? I would say my choices are between the bone block and the calcite, actually. Drizzy, welcome on in. And Reaper Kitty, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you're taking care of yourself today. Yeah, the calcite just, like, feels very classic, you know? Chicken tikka masala with drumstick. That sounds delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh, that sounds so good. My parents invited us, up, invited us over for dinner, so I don't know what we're having, but as long as I'm not cooking, I know, honestly. I, my dad loves cooking for us. And I love going there for dinner because I'm like, you know what? Not having to cook, I will do the dishes for him. Absolutely, but. You're having jambalaya. That sounds delicious. Oh my gosh, I wish I was having that. The bone block fits in. I feel like it does too, right? Get some chips with peas and cauliflower drowning in gravy. That sounds so good. I've been on a cauliflower kick recently too, like roasted. Sev, you'd probably like meat pies. They're very good. I mean, the ones we have in Canada don't live up to like the UK standard. Don't get me wrong, but super good. The calcite looks like clouds. It kind of does. You, we could do a mixture. Okay, let's try that really quickly. So we've ruled out these two. Bye-bye. Now, what if we did, like... I don't have enough bone block to, like, really... Is this, like, too messy? Because it's just, like, this is, like, too much, like, yellow, kind of? I don't know. Bone has the yellow undertone that coordinates with the sandstone. That's a thing, right? And it's more neutral. So the ceiling would be good. You know what the calcite would be good for? I feel like it would be either a good accent wall or a bathroom wall when we build one. So like picture it um, like here. I might rip out these walls because even though it's going to look really awkward for a while, we're going to be attaching another build to this. So I think we could like sneakily pull out these walls. So if we did like, that could be like a good bathroom wall. You know what I'm saying? Every time I sign on, we're always talking about food. Oh, always, always, without a doubt. Like I think like 70% of the stream is food. <laughs> also, welcome on in, Nicole. How you doing? I hope you're having a great day. All right, I'm going to go to the nether really quickly. We got to get some bone block. That's the easiest way to get it. We'll just fly around and grab a bunch. And then we'll uh, we'll build with that. What worries me is the fact that it's called meat pie rather than beef, chicken, pork, or whatever. Okay, to be fair, I'm the one we are eating tonight is a beef pie. It's not just like quote unquote meat. If there was one that was just meat pie, I'd be like, okay, but what are we talking about here? What kind of meat? <laughs> Ooh, avocado. I was talking about that with Big Tiny Duck. 
last night about how we don't really get we haven't gotten avocado lately because the last time we got it for a while it was like not good i think it just like wasn't in season or something and then it just got really expensive but i'm like i miss avocado oh no oh no oh no are we building the a cat toilet room absolutely sev the cats need a bathroom okay but also it's gonna have a human toilet too for when we go to visit oh no bro these things are just absolutely killing my vibe if you're ever in the uk you should try pu puka pies they're Puka pies? They're so good, especially the steak ones. They're usually in chip shops too. Is that like a brand or something? I will definitely have to try it. I think the last time we went to the UK, we had some, or Big Tiny Duck at least got one type of uh, like a chicken pie and it was so good. Oh, I love a good pie. You know what I love from the UK that we like don't really have here? Sausage rolls. Why don't we have them here? It makes me so sad. They're actually so delicious. I had a couple even from like um gas stations and they were so good i think it was from like is it greg's or something i don't even remember there's a skeleton absolutely just hitting me with an arrow and i'm not even paying attention oh my gosh there's two bruh what's the other ones called they're, they're like a pastry are they called pas pasties or something there's like curry ones and stuff. Oh my gosh, those are amazing too. I wish we had more stuff like that in Canada, but it's very hard to find. Spicy um, Jamaican patties are my go-to meat pie. Yo, same. I would say like, even though they're like not the same thing as a traditional like meat pie, that is like a good substitute. Now you're making me want a Jamaican patty. Oh, they're so good. We have a lot of good options for those in Toronto, too. Aw, uh, Max, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, we got 60. I think we're good. I don't want to be in here any longer. It stresses me out. Ooh, except this is... This looks easy to get. Greg's ones, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Greg's and it was like actually incredible. Also, they're like so cheap. What the heck? I feel like they were only like a couple pounds or something. First time on the stream? Aw, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for popping on in. I hope you're having a great day. Avocados are very versatile. When it's off season, they harvest young trees early and that's why they aren't super quality. Young fruit is more prone to being stringy, um, which skeeves me out sometimes. Yeah, it's the stringiness of them. And like, you feel, and they never really properly ripen either. That's what I don't like about them. They're just like stringy the whole time. Had a Cornish pasty. I don't think I ever ended up having one, but I remember Blockdown was like, you need to try one. I don't think we ever ended up getting one though. It was on the list. Yo, this sound is satisfying. Oops. Yes. I really, I actually really love the look of that. That's so good. Heck yeah. Awesome. Good choice, chat. Good choice. You know what? The flooring's kind of cool too in here. I like that. It's very like open and airy, but we're going to be dividing up some of these walls. So that's perfect. So now we have the fun part of deciding like what color walls we want. So for this one, I kept it green. I feel like we could do, I would maybe like to do some terracottas. Look at that. I think that would look like kind of cool. Just give me one second chat. I need to close my curtain. The 
the one time the sun's come out in like days and I'm like, I should be like, I'm gonna soak in the vitamin D. I'm like, no, I need to close the curtain. I can't see myself playing Minecraft. I was slightly low magnesium, so my partner bought a bunch of avocados. I'm afraid they're gonna go bad. The problem with avocados is like, yeah, one day they're not ripe, and then you look away for one second, and they're like completely, completely bad. Looks so good, heck yeah. Very happy with that choice. We're gonna do some uh, fun walls now too. I'm thinking like probably terracotta. I like like the lime terracotta, although we do have green walls in the last one. Magenta would be cute. Cyan's kind of nice. It's like a little moody, but oh no! What the heck? Um, I'm almost thinking about doing something a little bit lighter because the uh the build's very bright, so we should probably keep it pretty bright. Yeah, the I really like the bone block how it has those faint lines. I would actually make for a really nice like wallpaper too. Is it just me or do avocados have an optimum taste window of about nine minutes then turn to brown paste? No, you're not alone with that. They absolutely do. It's so funny. If you even look away, they're like, bye. Okay, I'm gonna try a couple things. Try these terracottas and see what happens. Whee! You have an appointment to head to? No worries, Cassie. I hope your uh, appointment goes well. And thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have a great day. You buy frozen avocado slices now and they and defrost what I need. I've always wondered about those. Do they actually okay, so when you defrost it, like do those still taste good? Let's say if you were to make like a rice bowl or something and put the avocado on top. Cause like I could see how it would be fine in like a smoothie if you're mixing it in, but I always wondered if it like properly kept its texture, you know? Alright, so. We're going to be doing, like, a bathroom probably here. Is yellow too much? We could do yellow, or we could do, like... We could also go the concrete route as well. Light gray is a little bit dusty looking. Might not be a bad thing. Or red. Hmm. I don't know which one to choose. I think red's kind of cool. The nice thing is we could do like different walls on different apartments as if like different people own them. You know what I mean? I feel like red for this one would be kind of nice. So we have like a bathroom here. In this corner, right? Boom. And then... Ooh, stripped acacia would be nice too. Ooh, prismarine though. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're all giving me options. How'd you store your storage area? Okay, I gotta I gotta go back there anyway. I'll show ya. Give you a quick little rundown of my storage. I'll show you all. So, there's like two, there's actually like three entrances to my storage. So what we did was we started off with like a giant hallway. Um, like this, there's like a portal room and then we ended up making like, there's a beacon hidden underneath sugarcane over here, sugarcane farm. Um, and then this storage room is basically all of like the very big, like essential blocks that we would use. Although there's no cherry wood in here because uh, this was done before that update. Um, but basically this stuff is all automated. So I wanted an automatic storage system, but I was like, if I have to make one for every single item in this game, I will actually go 
like crazy that's just too much work for me and it would just be too big it would be too overwhelming so i just did like the main blocks that i thought i would need and as you can see they're all sorted but the best part is if i want to sort them all i have to do is pop them in here i forget what the tutorial is that i used there was a really good tutorial it was actually very easy it looks complicated and it has broken a couple times. I don't know exactly why, but honestly, this thing is just like, once you figure out the pattern on how to make it, it's just repetition. It looks like a lot of work, but it's totally just hoppers. That's all it is. It's just hoppers. So I basically organized it with all of this stuff is the main blocks that we would use. And then all of my little items, because in Minecraft, you collect like hundreds of items. Could you imagine? doing a sorting system i mean it'd be super useful but i couldn't imagine myself doing a sor sorting system for like all of these spruce stairs slabs and just like all of these individual items so this is the room where we have all of our like little piddly stuff and basically what i um what i did was like i made one for food friendly mob loot saplings like plant seeds kind of we organized it in a way that like would make sense in my brain because in our old storage room what i used to have was i had um item frames and i found that it just wasn't readable for me so i think we gave the shot of like signs a couple weeks or a couple months back now in chill survival uh when we were doing that storage and i really liked it because like with this i was like okay sand there's a ton of stuff in it now it's a mess but like cobblestone could mean so many different things stone could mean so so many things it just wasn't readable enough so i would suggest that if you're doing like storage i mean unless item frames are like totally your jam that's cool it didn't work for me though i prefer having like a text that tells me like oh you can put like aquatic things in here or like decorative items and we basically just organized it that way mangrove stuff cherry oh that was the warped wood cherry all that stuff so yeah that's kind of like the idea for the storage it took a lot of work <laughs> um, to kind of like, or a lot of thought to kind of like try to figure out what would be best for me because it's different for everybody, right? All right. Somebody suggested acacia for the walls and I'm kind of thinking that would be a vibe, you know? Stripped acacia specifically. I wonder what like jungle wood would be like too. I'm going to try that. Also, for the bathroom, we have calcite, but I'm like, I feel like a prismarine wall would be kind of cool. I feel like I read prismarine in chat. Who said that? But I feel like it would be cool for like a bathroom wall or something. That redstone looks so complicated. Honestly, it's a lot more, it's a lot less complicated than it looks. It, the tutorial that I uh, used a long time ago was very like straightforward i forget who it was who was it hold on a second i think i might have the name somewhere give me just one second chat chapman farms it was um item sorter they have a couple variations now so i would suggest going to their channel as he suggested this to me a long time ago, um, but the YouTuber is called Chapman Farms and they, it is such a straightforward tutorial. I'm telling you, like I'm not good with redstone and that's probably one of the easier tutorials that I followed. Your base has a distinct lack of bats, please fix. Not until the update where they have those like super cute faces. Sorry, Jag. Should I do a cherry dragon or a jungle? Ooh. You know what? I'm vibing with like jungle wood and stuff recently. I say jungle. I say jungle. Oh, decided cherry dragon. Go with cherry. My suggest suggestion is go with what chat says and not me. Trust me on that one, okay? Ooh, this is a vibe. All right, all right. Very nice, very nice. Uh, 
at first I was like, is this too big of a bathroom? But then I'm like, you know what? I wish I had a bigger bathroom IRL, so no. <laughs> no, this is fine. I feel like a bathroom here, and then maybe what we could do is like trap doors or something along here to separate this room. We could have either like a very long room, which I'm kind of thinking, or like a really small room right here. I mean, either way, what I should do is I should have one apartment like that and then the other one completely different. Wayward, you suggested the acacia. GG's, GG's. They're changing bats? They're, yeah, I think they are like giving them more of like a cartoony face. I'm pretty sure. All right. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need trap doors, but I need some that will like, mm. <gasps> wait, no, 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 I have an idea. What if we did a wall of not bookshelves, but chiseled bookshelves? So then on one side you could have books and then the other side would just be like a flat wall or something. I feel like that could be kind of cool. I think they're pretty easy to make too. They're just like slabs. Yeah, slabs and planks. I'm vibing with that idea. Oh my gosh, I thought that shulker box was the creeper. I was like, what? How are you here? It's just a shulker box. That's all it is. All right, let's make some planks. slabs boom boom also chat if you're enjoying the stream and you want to hit that like button i would very much appreciate it it really helps out these streams on youtube that's the actual size of my bathroom same same sev my bathroom's tiny <laughs> andrea welcome on in how you doing Galley kitchen with seating in the corner. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. Silk touch. I don't have silk touch on that. I feel like that's too high for a bookshelf. I think if we did like that. I feel like there needs to be more depth though. That's the problem with like having this here. I kind of would love like trap doors or something. Maybe some trap doors along here and like a beam across or something like that. I just don't know what type of trap door because I want it to be kind of like closed off if that makes sense. They're all like pretty open now, except spruce, which kind of stinks. Which version did they change the snap the bats in snapshot? Wait, am I did I get this totally wrong? Did I get this totally wrong again? Is this a copper tool situation? I swear they were wait, they did change the fate the face of the bat for the next update coming up, right? I swear. Last week I thought a pig was a creeper and I punched it. Sev, how could you? I've done that before too, where you're just like super reactive. They changed the look in 120.3. Wait, is it already in effect, huh? I'm just not updated yet in this world. I'm still on 120. I've got I've got to admit that. I'm still on 120, so. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the storage really quickly, see if we can get any other trap doors. You almost have your to-do list done? Nice, that always feels so good. Just checking things off. Yeah, you need silk touch for all the chiseled bookshelves, unfortunately, to break them. I don't know why, it's such a pain. They just like literally break into pieces. Also, I'm on complimentary shaders, by the way. 
oak is out of the question. Birch is an option, but I don't know. That might look kind of not great. Let's see. Eh, it might be a little bit much, but we'll see. Dark oak, acacia, jungle. Dark oak is another one, actually, that could work. I'm going to try a couple, but also I might just make it all acacia because we might have like too much going on. Oh, they already implemented the change of the bats. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a next update thing that they were like teasing. Yeah, I think you're right, Lisa, where we need to, like, give this a little bit more, like, something else, like an archway or something. I think you're right. I feel like birch is the way to go for this. And then archway. Over top, or, like, some type of, um... Some type of like stair going across. Maybe like oak just to keep it all in theme, possibly. I don't know if I have any oak in here though. I have a bit. I don't think that'll make enough stairs. Um, no. We have oak trees over here though, so that's good. Is this a copper tool situation? If I if I ever pull that again, which I probably will, it's because you know what? I, I'm so like notorious for like kind of half keeping track on like update stuff. But then for the most part, I'm like, I look at like YouTube videos that are popping up and it's all speculation. People are like, what if we had 48 different types of trees in the next update? And I'm like, oh, wow, what? That's going to happen. And then it's totally not. It's just somebody speculating. And then I get got, you know? Classic. Ooh, you know what else would look good? Oak trap doors above, too. The bats are, uh, the bats are new and much cuter. Yeah, they have, like, really big cartoon eyes. They're super cute. Oops, that is too far. Too far. I feel like that's... This doesn't feel right. Need to change that. Maybe stairs right side for this part? I don't know. Oops. It's not perfect, but I also don't mind it. I don't really... The flatness here, it's not ideal. But I feel like we could work around it, too. I don't know. I think this is just going to look super different once we actually decorate it. That's why I'm, like, trying not to be super picky about it. So if we have, like, an entryway here... I feel as though this would be kind of like the living area. I feel like we need to have a bedroom too, though. So we probably need to like get something in here for a bedroom. I'm guessing like a bed here and then maybe we could have like a mini kitchen area right here. We would just have to have like a little privacy screen, though. You know what I mean? I'll um just put these here in place for now. Something like that, but I think I would like it to be kind of like birch or something instead. We need to keep him. Oh, no, we have to keep in mind. We're going to be putting books there, though. Bruh. What if I did this instead? This way. So the bookshelf won't get like. Won't have anything in front of it. I think that's better. This will all come together. 
There's a lot going on right now, but that needs just to like get swapped out. This needs to turn into like shelving of some sort. I think we can make this work. I think we can make this work. The birch is low-key giving Japanese uh, paper walls vibes. Oh, heck yeah, that's awesome. I think once it gets filled in with all of the other stuff, it'll look like, it'll actually look like something. I love Minecraft, but I always feel like I'm cheating on Terraria, my all-time favorite game. Terraria is one that I actually really want to give a shot. Um, I've been meaning to do a playthrough of it because I've never properly played it. I heard it's very hard, but also very like rewarding and fun. So let's start bringing in like just some stuff to decorate with. I think like we could do with some shelving. Jungle trap doors would be great for shelves, I think. Decorative shelves. We used to have a bunch. I might have put it away. Here we go. You love the huge open world of Minecraft, honestly. It's, it's also like Terraria looks fun, but in a different way. Because I think like 2D or platform style um, graphics is just like so different. Such a wildly different experience. Wait a second. Let's get like... Something like that. We can do like some storage up top. Whoops. Not that we're going to access the storage. You can't open it, but that's okay. And then we need like maybe some leaves or something in here. A lantern. Just all that stuff. Oh, bamboo trap doors. Yes. I keep forgetting to use those. I'm trying harder to like remember to incorporate things like bamboo. Copper's been my big one recently. Um, like I'm kind of on a spree of picking out blocks that I've ignored previously and trying to use them. Bamboo's on the list too. And copper's one that I've been using a lot more lately. I'm resisting the urge to play Minecraft so I can work on my paintings, but I yearn for the mines. <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> I know it's hard, isn't it? This game, the way it, it consumes you, I swear. I'm just gonna make a ton of lanterns. I always forget I can trade for lanterns too, but... This is just as easy for me. All right, we got some lanterns. What else did I put in the other apartment? I don't remember. Oh yeah, we did these like really cute little mushroom lights. I'd like to do something a little bit similar um, with like the end rods. We did like terracotta lights and stuff too. It was super cute, but we need some stuff like that. We also need our toilet room. So I'm gonna need like quartz and stuff in a bit. Or what if, can we turn these into, oh my gosh, can we turn these into stairs what if we do like an 80s style toilet i remember my grandma this is actually this is more so like 70s my grandma had a toilet and i swear it was like teal huh i think you should uh s switch the birch and oak trap doors that way we can see into the kitchen area from the living room that's a good point too actually maybe this could be like the privacy screen and then this one could be a little bit more open I would like to get a door on this too, but we're not doing like the Toronto condo special where condos in Toronto have like, I don't even know. They're, they have like sliding doors now. It's ridiculous. Our friend lives in one and it's like, there's no real doors. They're all like, and they're like glass walls too. So you can't really properly put something against them. They're like frosted glass walls and sliding doors. What's that about? What is that about? Nicholas, welcome, welcome. Hope, uh, hope all that work went well. Yeah, I heard there's like a lot of like cool bosses and stuff in Terraria now. When I first tried it, it was, a little bit newer and I just felt like generally very lost but I think if I gave it a shot now I would enjoy it a lot more 
Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. This one's like upside down technically though. We need to fix some of these guys. Come on, there we go. Nice. Perfect. We have a pretty uh, old bathroom and it's bluish teal as well. See, you remember, you remember. <laughs> Well, not you remember, you have it. I wasn't I wasn't crazy for remembering that though. Also, I remember she also had like a weird carpet cover on the top of the toilet. Why? Why did they put carpet in bathrooms back then? It's so bizarre. Okay, so. Toilet here. Maybe I could put like a little shower here or something. Not too sure. What would be- oh, you know what would actually work? Hear me out. I want to do like a faux- ow, bathtub. But I think I could kind of like make this work by doing- using stairs. Hold up. Can the stair on top of the chisel bookshelf curve if you place them on the side of the wall still upside down oh are you talking about like when you connect them kind of and they do like that weird little curve thing it might work uh what was i gonna do oh yeah quartz 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 hold on a second i have a brilliant idea brilliant i say We had a sliding door on our last apartment's bathroom. I didn't hate it because my cat is a peeper creep. <laughs> oh my gosh, my, yeah, my cat is, I, in our old apartment, it, like the, um, this was, is what I call the landlord special. There was so much paint over top of the entire thing that, um, our door never latched properly because they would just keep painting over something because it was such an old building and, <laughs> I remember, oops, I remember Ruth would just open the door. You'd see her paw. Why do I keep doing this? You would see her paw from underneath the door and you'd see her reach and yank it open and she'd just come into the bathroom. What a little, little menace, honestly. I need more calcite up here too. So this can be the tub. We could have like a little shower thing installed as well. I think that'll look super cute. I work as a handyman, so work is almost always fun. Oh, nice. Heck yeah. Oop. Let's see if I can attach it. Oh, I can't. I'm struggling. I'm struggling, Effexor. I'm struggling. Hold on, let me break these. See if I can get it. You have one of those, like, carpet things on your toilets? Oh my gosh, let's go. Ooh, that looks cute. Oh, it ended up working on that side too. I like that. Nice. Those toilet seat covers are sus. My grandparents all had them. They had that and they also had like, there was always like a weird toilet seat like foot thing or a toilet foot thing at the bottom. Like it'd be carpet for your feet as well. I remember my, at my aunt and uncle's house, in their bathroom, it was fully carpeted too, which was bizarre to me. Maybe it's uh, to do with the lack of central heating. So if there was no carpet in bathrooms, the room would be very cold. That's actually a really good point. Especially for homes like that, because those were, I think it was built in like the 50s or 60s possibly. I remember it had the little door for the milk on the outside of their house. like. In their, like, uh, along the side of the, ha the house, there was, like, a little door thing for the milkman to drop milk off. So bizarre. Super cool, though. My windows are usually sealed shut with the paint. Oh, that always scared me, too. I remember the first thing we did when we moved into our last apartment, because it was super old, was check to see if they were sealed or not like that, because that was always a huge fear of mine. Oh, on the side wall. Oh, are you talking like a full trim? Like, do we just trim all the way around? Hold 
on a second. Other way around. Oh no, I might be I might be misinterpreting and I might not understand this. And it's not you, it's me, Effexor. It might just be a me thing. <laughs> it might just be a me thing. All right, I need, um, I've got lanterns. I need some stuff for a couch. What did I do for a couch up here? We did mangrove. Mangrove would be a nice one. I feel like red would be kind of cool. We could also do cherry. We could do like a cherry couch. Yeah, at least you could take off the covers and wash them, but a carpet floor, like you would literally have to replace. It was just bizarre to me because it was like the whole thing was carpeted, like by the tub, by the shower. Like eventually that there would be water damage, right? That sounds cool, little milk door. Yeah, it's so cool. I'd get people to pass snacks through it, honestly. It got sealed by the time I was like, I was alive, but I remember it being there and there was like a cover over it and I would always knock on it because it was like made of metal. <laughs> I thought it sounded cool. Okay, wait. Uh, Ooh, an ender chest will look kind of cool in there too. Barrels. So I need a little bit more oak. That's birch. That should not be in there. Dark oak couch could be kind of cool too. Mangrove. I'm also going to grab cherry because I feel like cherry could be kind of cute for one of the apartments as well. Full shag pile bath mat. At a certain point, um, they're just rugs made of solid germs, literally. I'd be like afraid to wash it. You'd hear the germs screaming, no! No, please! Are we doing kitchen here? I don't even remember. I think kitchen here. The living area here. This is a very small space, so I feel like we gotta get a couch on this wall. Maybe like a little love seat. And we can do like mangrove on the side here, or we could do bookshelves. And then let's try to get the trim wrapping around. I gotta go to sleep first. Oh no, I fell in. Prisbury and I would try, I'm kind of like um, vibing with like the, the warm tones and stuff though. For the upstairs one, we might try some different uh, color variations too, because we're going to have to put in other types of couches and stuff. I definitely would like to get a pink couch in one of them for sure. In fact, sir, I don't know if you meant like put a trim all the way around. I also feel like it might look good. The worst crime I've seen was a full shag pile toilet seat cover, not the bit that you flip, the one you sit on. I've seen those too. What's up with that? What is up with that? Please. Why? Why is that a thing? Ooh, you know what? What if we did like, hold on a second. Just like full on oak right here. I feel like this makes more sense. It's more of a beam, you know? Oh, the curve to turn into the wall. I see what you mean. Like, hold on. I think I see what you mean. Like, it goes like this way. Hold on a second. I think we'd have to get rid of this one, though, right? To make it, like, turn into the wall. Good. Like that? I feel like this is kind of dope though. No? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> you know, I, this is a moment where I cannot understand what is being, what the example is. 
Just place the wall upside down? <laughs> you place the wall? Okay, chat, this is- this is another one where I- I might not- This might be a lost cause- like this? <laughs> this might be a lost cause for me, I'm so sorry. If I- <laughs> if I'm not understanding, I apologize. Except this does look kind of good though. Like that? I kind of like it where it's like this though, hold on. Like I'm kind of vibing with this. On the wall. Okay, I literally, for some reason, I'm so sorry. I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I cannot visualize it. So it's really hard for me to like understand. If something, this happens, this is just me. This is, this is a me problem. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, okay. We're leaving it the way it is right now because otherwise it's just going to be like me fixing it. Did I get it? Okay, good. If not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll take the L on it though because if, We'll be there all day. Sometimes I have a very hard time visualizing stuff and it's not you guys like explaining it. You guys are fine because everybody else is understanding it. Sometimes it's just like the I have really I have a really hard time visualizing like words. If somebody's explaining something, I need like diagrams, you know? OK, I'm just going to get a couple more uh, regular bookshelves. This has just been like a, a constant my whole life. I'm the problem, it's me. Exactly. Mito, welcome on in. How you doing? I did it and then I took it away. The problem is there's a delay on chat, so I don't know ex which one is exactly the right one. And then we're going to say yes, no, yes, yes, no, 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 yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then it's just going to be a constant battle. I apologize, chat. I do it. You can relate. Yeah, I have. It's the uh, I'm so much better like looking at visual examples, but reading examples has always been such a struggle for me. I don't know why. It's just been that way my whole life. All right, I'm going to get some more regular bookshelves and then start decorating other spots, too. Do I have aphantasia? I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure what that is. I might. Let me look it up. Aphantasia. Means you don't have visual imagination keeping you from picturing things in your mind. People don't often realize they don't have it. Let's see. I do visualize things though. That's a thing. Like I can picture things perfectly. But I can't like, it's so weird. I can picture things perfectly and I can imagine stuff. Like I would say I have like a very overactive imagination, but there's something about like, let's say like if I have instructions, if I have to like, if I've written instructions, it's a lot more, it's a lot harder for me to visualize for some reason. I don't know why. So maybe I do, who knows? It didn't look as good as I thought, so it's fine. Well, at least we tried it. And at least, at least we tried it and now you know, but I don't know. <laughs> I visualize things perfectly, just the wrong things. Azzy, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm not, I am that type of person though, to be like, to visualize something and have it be so very wrong. We'll just do like a little love seat here. Um, I guess this couch is just gonna face the bathroom, but I mean, I'm busy. I'm reading books, okay? We're reading books here. <laughs> they don't, they don't have a TV in this room, but like they have like, they have an iPad somewhere stored away, you know? I can picture things great, but I can't get it from my head to my hands or mouth. Yeah, I can't, I can't draw anything. I can't draw stuff, but I, I think I can kind of explain things though. I think I'm definitely stronger at explaining things, but I get that. I do get that. It's so wild how everybody like 
visualizes things so differently. I almost like having like a double screen. Like this is a very messy room, but I feel as though we could make this work. I require picture books with any instruction. Exactly. Like, I know I'm not great at building Ikea furniture, but like Ikea furniture. Yeah, sure. The, the visual instructions are there, but like if that was all written out, I would be like, huh? Huh? When you imagine things, it's just words for you. Oh, interesting. I can like picture the thing. You know what I mean? I can picture the thing that's being um, explained, but I, I think that my problem is I picture it wrong. I've got a crazy imagination. I just suck at understanding people's words. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Yes. Me too. That's exactly it. You put it into words for me. Thank you. It's so wild how we all like visualize things and like imagine things differently though. It's so like it's bizarre but like very interesting. What was I looking for again? Okay, we need paintings. Like tons of them. So I'm gonna start making some. I've got a bunch of yellow wool that I could use. And then... Let's just make like a button. One thing I would like to get is, I think there's resource packs. I would like to maybe get one that has like different paintings or something for this stream. Cause we use so much of them for decoration. I would love to have like more variety for it, you know? Do a welcome on in, how you doing? So nice to see you. Your partner has aphantasia and is an artist. Oh my gosh, how do they do it? How do they do it? I feel like that's like ultimate skill. Being able to like still make art despite having that. Okay. Just get like a bunch of stuff put in here. Big gallery wall. We're just gonna make this one like super messy. This person just loves art, okay? Whoever this person is, they love it. That's too much. I'll let that be. I might actually just extend this into shelving though. I think that would be kind of cool. I wonder if like what we can do. Hold on a second. I've got some ideas. What we can do is like put some tables up too. We need like a little kitchen area, I think. Definitely gonna have a kitchen. Let's get some um pressure plates made. Hold on a second. Do this. Then I need uh this I have to sleep soon you have a uh, hyperfantasia i can imagine things in perfect clarity my favorite thing uh is to picture things made from yarn like they've been crocheted as you're telling me about this and it sounds wild i think like i can picture stuff where it's like i could technically if i wanted to like visualize something like turn it around in my brain and stuff like that but i don't know I feel like eventually, if I think about it too much, it almost goes, like, foggy in a way. It's like the less I focus on the thing, the fact that I'm imagining something, the more I can picture it. It's like if you ask 20 kids to draw a fire truck, each kid will provide something different. I feel like we should all do that. That'd be kind of, like, interesting. Let's all draw fire trucks and put them in the Discord. <laughs> I would love to have a drawing stream one day. That'd be so funny. Okay, I think this is cute. Like a little table to like read. Oh, you know what would look good that I never use anymore? Like cartography tables always look good mixed in with stuff here. 
Maybe I could get one on this side or something. I do like that though. And as for this, I feel like maybe having like another table here with like a breakfast table and then we can maybe do, oh, wait, this might be good for like, this could be the nook. Hold on a second. Uh oh, my bad. It is my dream in life to one day have a breakfast nook. I see those all the time and I'm like, I could literally cry. I want one so bad. We have a bunch of tables everywhere though. Is this too much? I put like a little mini kitchen here, I suppose. Big statue of my Minecraft skin? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just looming over everything. Is that our homework? Yes. <laughs> Draw a fire truck and put it in art and photography. Oh, if we all draw fire trucks, can they be added into the chill series as paintings? Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to ask Froggy about, I think Froggy has that mod in one of her worlds. I'll have to ask her about that. I will have to ask her if like that's something that I can viably have in one of these worlds because that would be really funny. Pick in Discord of what I mean. Okay, I'm going to check that out now because it's been... It's been on my mind. Oh! That looks so good! <laughs> what the heck? It's okay, it's blocked for us anyway. But yes. Oh my gosh, effects are... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a cauldron and stuff made as well. Also chat, we gotta take a break in a minute, eh? We've been uh, live for quite some time, almost two hours now. I'll probably be live for at least like, at least another hour or so, so. Let me just sleep really quickly. And what do you say we just take a really quick break? Um, I will be gone for just a couple moments. Just going to get more water, stretch my legs, maybe grab a snack too. I should probably eat a little bit. So everybody, make sure you grab something to eat or hydrate, whatever. Go stretch your legs and we will be back in a moment or so. All right, BRBs.
Hello. Uh, Sorry if I scared you. I scared myself. All right, I'm gonna grab a bunch of stuff and we are just gonna get this done. We're gonna do it, chat. We're gonna do it. I'm in. I'm in focus mode now. Focus mode. Um, I'm in focus mode and I have no idea what I'm doing. Classic. Classic! Alright. Love these chill streams. Aw, oh, I'm, I'm so glad. I love hanging out with you all. They're always super fun. It's really hoping to be able to join stream today, but my coworker got into an accident on her bike, so I had to cover for her. Oh no, Moon. I hope uh, I hope they're all okay. Hope everything's good. That's uh that's really nice that you were able to cover for them though. So I'm sure I'm sure they appreciated that for sure. Okay, I've got I've got ideas. I've got ideas. Okay. I'm gonna kind of like work on the kitchen next. Also, chat, I mentioned it at the beginning of stream, but um Make sure you head on over to that second channel, too. If you're looking for content, we do Twitch streams on Fridays. So if you want some other um, content from this world, we're always building in it on Fridays on Twitch. Make sure you go on over there and check it out. Because uh got lots and lots of fun content. Actually, that will be like the hood. I'm going to do like a railway here for like a little grill. There we go. Cool. Oh no, the sink. I gotta switch these two. Gotta switch these two because I want the sink to have the tripwire hook. So I'm gonna pop that there. Boom, we got ourselves a sink. Very nice, fancy. Got ourselves a little hood. We're gonna put a little rail here. For some reason, when I clicked back into the stream, it took me to the beginning. Oh, weird. Probably just having like a little moment. Oh, I need more calcite too. Should I cook up taquitos or onion rings right now? Honestly, if it were me, I'd probably do both. But if you can only do one, taquitos. And I'm only saying that because I haven't had taquitos in so long. So I want to live vicariously through you. Oh, taquitos are so good. Where's the calcite? Did we use all of it? No, we did not. Perfect. Do, 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 do. We need to get like a little bath mat in the bathroom. Onion rings to eat while you make the main meal. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Do. Do, do. So we got a little bath mat there. Oh yeah, we gotta get the fluorescent lighting. Oh no. I put so much sand in this build. Lol. <laughs> okay. Fluorescent lighting. This. Could do like a little um glass thing. Or we could do like a shower curtain going across too, probably. I think that would work. Okay, this I'm gonna have a question that oh wait, no, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say, can we attach like end rods to and banners like together? But I have another idea. Hold on a second. End rods. Did I put them away? I must have. All the signs point to un uninstalling and installing Nightbot. Yeah, I think that's the way that we're going to go. I've seen it on other streams, specifically on YouTube, and it seems like it's more functional and responsive. That's on the list for uh, this week, for sure. Need to put the kids to bounce and so on. No worries, effects are. Hope it all goes well. And thank you so much for hanging out. We'll catch you later for sure. Oh, 
Oh, a shop where it's almost like a basement entrance front door. I don't know what that architecture is called, but I know what you're talking about. We have quite a few of those types of shops in Toronto. I would love to do something like that, actually. That'd be really cool. Ooh, this could actually look like it's... Like, the powered rail might look more like a heating coil. Um, what was the other thing I was going to do? Oh, yeah. We need more end rods. And I need more birch, too. Then I need... That's it for now. Yeah, I got all my banners. Yes, we need to have a business meeting, honestly. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be knocked off the list, for sure. We basically had knocked off most stuff off the list for a while, and then stuff has come back. You know what I mean? I think that's always the way of it, though. Um, I'm curious as to what those buildings are called. I don't know. I want to know what they're called, too. Okay, let's do this that and then I could have like a banner hanging from that after and then of course in here we will have the end rods maybe one here and here I don't know why I just love this detail I think it's so funny I think it needs to come up one though maybe there we go very small bathroom but it does the trick we just need a door there now. And then here we're going to pop in, boom, like a little heating element. I know it looks a little goofy, but it works. It works, it works. I kind of like this room. I think that's like pretty much done. We just need to add stuff to the bookshelves. And then in here, definitely just going to keep it simple. Maybe like a little nightside table like this. Pot on top. Hmm. Probably some shelving up top, too. Probably across here. Yeah. Did it get knocked off the list, or did you guys end up talking about food and going home? Pack it up! We had our food conversation. We're good to go. <laughs> Yeah, now we had everything fully organized and good to go because like all of the bot stuff got sorted. But now the problem is that bot's acting up. So now we're going to have to like figure out a different bot. So it's like all that work for naught. Detector rails. What do those look like? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Okay. Go off, detector rail. I'm going to make one of those. I have to go to my storage, though, for the 500th time. Best bathroom I've ever seen. Let's go. I actually really like this bathroom, too. I think it's super cute. Wayward, what is that? It's ham something, but what is it? Whatever it is, I want it to. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna have to have my lunch after this stream for sure. We have leftovers. We made like this chickpea and rice thing. Just like with so many vegetables and like kind of like a honey sauce, a hot honey-ish sauce. We use sriracha with it. Sriracha soy sauce and I think honey and something else. It was super good. Uh, stone. Stone stuff. Perfect. Detector rail. I need redstone dust. Got it. I can do that. 
I can do that. I still can't do it. Oh. Oh, wait. Not slabs. Oh, my gosh. I'm having a moment today. It's Monday, okay? <laughs> From the famous words of Patrick, wish I lived there. Let's do this. There we go. Yo, Chloe, welcome on in. How you doing? Been a while, but I've been able to join a stream. Let's go. So nice to see you. I hope you're having a good one. York's tongue is swollen because of his wisdom teeth. Uh, are broken and it cut his tongue a bit. Oh no, they're getting removed on Friday. Oh, I hope it goes well. I will never forget getting my wisdom teeth taken out. That was not fun. I did it too late in life. Definitely suggest getting your wisdom teeth out if you need to, because I, I held off on it and I regretted it. Um, If you don't see the chats already, it might be because you didn't hit the verify button. Uh, cause you have to verify that you've read the rules and stuff. So after you've done that, it should, uh, potentially open up all of the chats and then you'll see like general art and photography, like all of that stuff. It's like Serrano ham or better. I don't think I've ever had that before. Don't believe I've had that. Do, do, do. Oh yeah. That looks way better. Nice. Do. There we go. We'll just get a little little lamp. A little lampy lamp. And then probably some more carpet in here after. A couple of paintings, of course. Put the creeper over the bed, because why not? That's hilarious. Little one right here. There we go. Nice. Looking good. I don't think we need paintings here. Got enough going on. Very nice. So now all we really need is like some stuff in the corner here. I'm going to put like pot here and a pot here. We need a door. Mama witch. Welcome on in. So nice to see you. How you doing? What goes in the flower pot? Probably going to put like um a little like faux plant in it with like a, azalea leaves and stuff. Some carpet. Actually, orange is not what we want. We're going to want like green or something. So I'm going to need to get some more, some dead bushes and some wool. That's pretty much all I need. Thought I did go, but I'll try it again. Some people have had issues where they've had to like leave and rejoin and try it again because it does glitch on occasion. You're not the only one who's experienced that for sure. Yet all four taken out at once and two were impacted. Ugh, the worst, the worst. I had like two taken out. Like the top two taken out and then the bottom two. And both experiences were just so bad on their own. And mine were impacted too. It was not a fun time. I wanted to cry. <laughs> okay. I said I needed... What was it again? Carpet. We need a little bit of carpet. Spice things up a bit, you know? Maybe we've been doing like so much green and stuff. I don't even have any anyway. I think that's a good thing. It's a sign that I need to do something else. Maybe light blue would be nice. A little light blue. And maybe just like a little bit more white carpet as well. We'll bring that. We're doing it, chat. So scared at 20 to get all four out. Um, I was supposed to get them out at like 23. I think I got mine out like 25 or 26. And 
like I know like the longer you wait the more like I don't know more complications could happen but I think you're still fine at 28 I think you'll be okay still one of those things where it's like the sooner the better so definitely get it whenever you can for sure That's way too high. Might just leave that for now. I kind of like it the way it is in here. Does need some like paintings or item frames though. All right, let's pop these in. Got a plant here. And then maybe in the corner we do something a little bit different, just like side table with lantern. Then we just gotta get a door. I like this. This is good. Pop in some leaves or something. Oh, leaves are too much. Never mind. Too much going on there. Plant pot with azalea would be better if I can reach it. Hold on. Boom. Need a plant in there as well. Are you a coffee person? If so, do you drink it with creamer or without? I drink it with like regular milk. Um, regular milk and a little bit of sugar. I am definitely a coffee person though. I used to be really into having like lattes and stuff in the morning. We had like an espresso machine. But recently I was like... It's a little bit too heavy for me in the mornings. Um, so we've switched back to regular drip coffee and it's been like really good. I'm really enjoying it. Let's need some item frames. Yeah, Reaper Kitty, I think I remember you talking about your wisdom teeth last year as well. Yeah, if they're causing pain, definitely, definitely got to come out. Wish we could place things on carpet. Me too. Me too. Do, do, do. Ba -da -ba -bum. Okay, I need. Oh, yeah, a bunch of item frames. Thank you very much. I'll take some. Can I get a leather? And then we need some plants too, just for, actually not plants. I want to do flowers. Just for a pop of color. Let's do that. I wish you could put sunflowers in pots. Why can't you? Why Minecraft, why? Why do you do this to me? Oh my gosh, RJ, thank you so much for the two months on your channel membership. I really appreciate that. Highlighted comment to support talking about coffee. All right, let's talk about some coffee here. RJ, thank you so, so much though. I really appreciate it for that channel membership. And I, uh, I hope things are going well and let's get all those big swags, big, big swags. Yeah, I'm, I'm big on the coffee, big on the coffee. I've I could honestly drink like an entire pot of it myself. I stopped myself at two coffees in the morning, except me and Big Tiny Duck were like wanting to get um, decaf coffees for the evenings because we I want we have like this Timmy's French vanilla mix that is just really good with coffees, like almost too sweet, sweet on its own. But if you mix it with some coffee, it's perfection. But at the same time, I'm like at eight o'clock. I don't want caffeine. So I got to get some decaf coffee this week. Kind of forgot to when we were uh, placing our grocery order. There we go. That is way too cramped. It's going to put some shelving up here, but it ain't even worth it. I will, however, put a lovely couple photos. Photos? One will be a plant and the other will be something else. Maybe an apple as an homage to the 90s because everybody had apples, like apple wallpaper and stuff. Why? Why did we all do that in the 90s? What's up with that? Should probably do like another 
towel rack here. There, that's good. Yeah. It's actually really cute. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Yeah, this is looking good. I still have my wisdom teeth, but I had braces and the expander, and those hurt so bad. You had the expander too? Oh my gosh. I remember when I first got it done, it was actually like a very rare and new procedure. <laughs> and it was, that was really painful. And I remember my, like, I, my dad would have to like turn a key to expand it in my mouth. That was like really weird and would just like slightly expand my jaw over the course of like, I think a couple of years I had it. And then I went right into braces right after. I couldn't catch a break. I had um, orthodontics from the age of like, I think grade four up until like my last year of high school. It was a very long time. I hated it. I can still almost like, not that I have pain, but it's almost like phantom. Like I can almost feel it as if that like bracket was still in my mouth. It's like a phantom thing. Could do a grass floor um, with sunflower. The only problem is then that would peep into the uh, thing, the shop below. That's the only problem. Coffee makes you sleepy. I feel like it does have that effect if you like have it at the wrong time or something. You love your after dinner coffees, but I'm starting to really feel it. it takes forever to fall asleep sometimes. Exactly. That's why I'm like, I feel like decaf's kind of the way to go, you know? I'm kind of feeling like the decaf now. I think we're going to give that a shot soon because I still, I, I love like a warm drink and I just don't always want tea after dinner. Like I want, I want a coffee. Oops. Want to eventually make some builds that resemble places I lived in the past, so this will be helpful. Oh, I'm so glad. Giving me so many ideas on how to make nice spaces that resemble real life rooms. I'm so glad this is helping you. Honestly, this is like a test for me too. Cause like I I think I excel at certain things with interiors, but making things look a little bit closer to reality. Like I do I think I do setups like this very well with like furnaces and stuff, but trying to make things look like more modern bedrooms is like really hard for me so i'm glad uh, we're all kind of learning along the way i'm gonna put this skeleton skull in there because i think that's funny let's do an apple and then What else do I need? Dark oak stuff. I think that's good. Speed kid, welcome welcome on in. How you doing? Decaf for the late night sip sounds like a good time. For real. Also, Ian. So nice to see you. How you doing? Sounds like a medieval torture technique. No, literally. The, the bracket thing, right? Isn't it wild? Sasha, welcome on in. How you doing? Oh my gosh, Kate, your orthodontist did that? What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Brutal. Did it scare you? I remember once my orthodontist got really mad at me because, um, I mean, rightfully so. This probably cost my mom a pretty petty because one day I was like, it was when I finally had my braces. It was Valentine's Day and you know those like chalky uh hearts candy hearts uh i got a bunch from school and i was like oh my god like these are my favorite i cannot not eat these and like that's like a huge no-no when you have braces is to eat anything like like hard candy basically and um i ate one broke a bracket and i was like whatever like it can't happen a second time <laughs> so i ate some more of those hearts broke another bracket and i was like well, if it happened twice, it surely can't happen a third time. So what did I do? I ate another one and I broke like three brackets. And my mom was so mad at me, rightfully so. Why did I do that? 
and they took me to the orthodontist the other the next day to get it like glued back on they literally yelled at me they were like why did you do that and i was like i don't know and they were like you can't you can't do that like literally the number one rule is like don't chew gum and don't eat like hard candies like why why did you do that they're like how did you break three like were you just did you just keep eating them and i was like no <laughs> totally did totally did you know what you mean about still feeling the expander right it's like it's like a phantom feeling that will never go away it's so bizarre okay i feel like i need an actual door on this i thought maybe but no 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 Yeah, decaf, like, becoming an adult, that's so true. Like, it's such an adult thing to, like, recognize that decaf coffee kind of rocks. It's so funny. So true, though. I remember, like, a long time ago, I was like, who drinks decaf? Like, why would you ever do that? Now I'm like, I should get some decaf coffee for home because that would be fantastic. Oh, how, how things change. Good, how are you, Drift? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. I hope you had a great weekend, Ian. We are just vibing today. We're uh, working on some interiors. I had a pretty restful weekend. It was very nice. So I'm just chilling. All right, I think this apartment, like for the most part, is like pretty much done. I don't want to overdo it because it's such a small space, but I think it's super cute. The only thing that could like, I think we might need here. We have a light in here. No, I think this is fine. We've got enough light. We got paintings. I see dad the bookshelves. And then maybe something along here though. Don't wanna like overdo it, but maybe just like a tiny little spot here. Just for something like this. I think it looks kind of cute. Yeah, I like this one. I just want to fill it with books and then we need to get a door on it. Honestly, the birch door is like kind of coming in clutch today. That's like a very apartment door too. I could change this out possibly. I don't know. I think that might be seen. Yeah, we'll leave that. That's like a doormat. It's a welcome mat. Do you ever think you'll make a hardcore series? I do think I will. Um, I think... Because right now, I'm, like, still very involved with the Let's Play, like, Chill Survival series. I think once that one ends, though, if I were to do another series, I think I would consider doing Hardcore. Because it's a challenge that I would actually like to take on. Um, I don't know if I'd do it for Stream World. I feel like the... We do so many shenanigans that if I ended up doing something silly and we lost a world like this, I'd be so sad. But I would definitely like to try like a Let's Play style um, series in hardcore. Where did I put that leather? Okay, here. I'm gonna make a bunch of books and then we're pretty much done with that floor. I'm really happy with it. Love your dedication to bracket breaking. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> My parents didn't love that, but thank you. Dentists are so scary. I used to have a really bad fear of them because I had um, some really bad dentists growing up because I have like a lot of issues with my teeth. I have just like naturally very weak teeth and I had dentists who would like basically they were kind of trying to scam my parents benefits like suck all of the money out of their benefits. Um, so what they would do is they would book me in for fillings where I didn't really need them. They were just like surface fillings and it ended up wrecking a lot of my teeth, which sucks. Um, but we found a dentist now who's like literally amazing and I go to him literally for everything because I got over my fear of dentist because he's so practical and also he said the nicest thing to me the other week because he's been he's done a couple root canals on me too I've had a couple of those which have been brutal but he said the nicest thing to me last time I saw him he said that I am what they call a success story because I have very sensitive teeth and 
Um, he said that he can tell that, that like there has been like basically they're good now. Like I might get a cavity here and there. But he said I'm a success story because he can tell my teeth have been repaired because I take such good care of them. And I'm like, that's a sign of a good dentist being like, I want you to have good teeth because most are like, get over here because I need to fill your fillings and stuff and I need money. But he's like, you're a success story. So nice. What, what a lovely man. I don't remember why I was here. Why am I here? Oh, yeah, I need paper. With braces, the toughest part was giving up popcorn. Oh my god, I know. <laughs> As he just just eat the popcorn whole. Ew. <laughs> munch munch. <laughs> That's like the most like unsatisfying thing in the world. Could you imagine? <laughs> god. <laughs> I'm still laughing at that. You discovered that half calf for you uh, was perfect balance. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's what we called our like um our French vanilla last night. We were like half calf, little half calf. It really didn't like mess mess with my sleep or anything. I don't think because I had a pretty good sleep last night. So whoa. No worries, bones. Welcome back. I was uh, terrified of dentists because the, the pain reliever injections they use don't work on me uh, at normal doses. Oh no, and you just thought it always hurt. Oh no. I've had like one experience where they did not properly um, like freeze the area and it, I was a kid and for some reason I was like, I won't say anything and it was the most painful thing of my life. I can't imagine just like ha having to endure that so often. Henry, welcome on in. How you doing? Oh no, apathy. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I, f I feel you with the uh, with the uh, sensitive teeth though. Definitely, I go through it as well, and it stinks. There we go. All right, this apartment is pretty much like officially done. I would say, I like it. I think it's super cute. Got like a little sleepy time area. We got a little bathroom. Look at that. It'd be kind of funny if I put water in there, wouldn't it? Like it's such an unnecessary detail, but I feel compelled to. You're feeling good? Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm doing good today. Just vibing. Excited to be uh be streaming today. Think afterwards, uh, gonna work on some video stuff. Just hanging. All right, we're done with this room. It's looking very cute. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Yeah, super cute. Got a little towel rack and stuff. So this apartment's done. Which means we can move on to this one. Got like a full, whoa. I don't know what's going on there. I just like glitched out really bad. That's weird. Gonna have to fix this wall. Um, I don't know what's going on. Sorry chat, my um, I don't know if it's dropping frames or what for you guys, but it's lagging a little bit for me. It's the game though, I don't know why. What was I more fiber? Say less. Say less. You were gone and got four victory royales on Fortnite? Yo, what? GG's. GG's. Have you beat the Ender Dragon? Yes, we have. Uh, we beat the Ender Dragon. We've gone to the end a couple times for like shulkers and wings and stuff. We got a good supply of those. All that stuff. Oh no. I need one more piece.
First time stream watcher playing in my own Minecraft world. Why watch? Hope you're having a great day, Drift. Oh, thank you so much, Mel. I hope you're having fun playing the craft. Hope that hope it's all going well. And thank you so much for watching. Yeah, the villagers have become self-aware. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. It's so weird. I've been getting that every once in a while while I'm playing, though. I feel like it's got to be my computer. I'm like, I do have to rebuild some things on this computer, and I'm just, like, not excited about it. Because I have to move, like, my OS over and stuff. That's, like, the hardest part. It's okay, though. Haru, welcome on in. How you doing? All right. So for this spot upstairs i mean i'm gonna do something really similar i almost feel like a bathroom with like a you know a windowed bathroom i feel like we ought to put a bathroom in this corner on this one you know there's the gritty emote on the on minecraft bedrock am i gonna become a minecraft bedrock player now now that i know this information why can't I hit the gritty here? This is me trying to gritty. All right. Let's get some walls in. I'm trying to think of what I want to do with this one. We went like more like orange tones. I feel like warped wood or something would look good in this one. Thoughts on the olive oil coffee thing? I don't know. I just feel like that's a recipe for disaster, in my opinion. I don't know if that'd be good for me. It's the same thing when people were, like, dropping chunks of butter in their coffee. What the? Even if that's great for you, like, for your gut health, I just don't know if I would want to do that. I feel like that is... You're taking some risks there, you know? You're taking some risks. Some more warped wood. Any tips for detailing a roof? Ooh, detailing a roof. I would say it depends on like what type of roof. Like if you're picking a palette, I would say like mixing together a couple of um couple of textures, like doing gradients can be fun, something like this. Uh, even plain classic roofs, I think, are nice. I sometimes, like, sometimes less is more. That's my new mantra this year. Less is more. But, like, if you're texturing with something like Deep Slate, it's nice having, like, a mixture of two different types of Deep Slate. So you get, like, the cobbled and the brick to make it look a little bit more worn down. Adding dormers into the mix, some leaves, is really nice as well. Even, like, trap doors on top of certain parts. Or, like, palettes like this with like different types of um, brown tones is kind of cool. It really depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes you can go really busy with them. Other times it's really nice to keep it like super simple too. It depends on like where it is in your world, right? Jumping spider, oh my gosh, jumping spider. I know they're probably friendly, it just scares me, you know? I'm sorry, Drift. I'm afraid I can't do that. Imagine I'm trading with the villagers. They start doing that. A C A Z. <laughs> Cherry. <laughs> uh, Fortnite, man. I, that game is like completely. It's rotted my brain a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, we need more bone block up here for the. Uh, ceiling. We need a nice ceiling. Bone block. We're gonna need more, chat. We're gonna need more! Boy, oh boy. Alright, we're gonna have to run to the nether really quickly, because I need more bone block. We got lots of rockets, we're good. 
Found you a few weeks ago. Love your chill let's plays. Always watch them to calm down after work. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you popping into the stream as well. Did you guys hear about the Minecraft movie? I did. You know what? The cast looks incredible so far. Isn't like Jennifer Coolidge cast in it or something too? I think Froggy was like, if she's not like the villager, that's a missed opportunity. And I agree. I'm like, if she's either not the villager or the dr or a dragon, the dragon, such a missed opportunity. Ow, why are you hitting me with these arrows? Ow, stop it. Or if she's a villager, it's like, huh, huh? Like, come on, that would be just too perfect, you know? <gasps> uh oh, how did I get down here? What's going on? Bruh. Do I play Fortnite? You betcha. I actually have a, if you go to my second channel, there's a VOD of me playing. I will have another VOD of me playing <laughs> coming up this week too, because me and Big Tiny Duck, we play a ton of Fortnite. It is so fun. I genuinely really love that game. Our um, friend got us into it last year, I think. And I had played the OG a long time ago, really did not like it because of the building aspect. I was like, this is not for me. I am just too bad at this. And then Zero Build came along and one of our friends started playing it. Ow! And um, she suggested we sh we try it. And I was like, yeah, right. And then I gave it a shot and I was like, oh, this is actually kind of fun. And then Big Tiny Duck kind of like hopped on the train as well. And now we can't stop playing. It's a problem. This season's been really fun though. I've actually really been enjoying it. I like all of the uh, the mods for the weapons and stuff, and obviously the sniper, which is arguably a little bit too OP, but it's just so fun. There's fossils in the overworld. Yeah, we talked about this. I, I remember I thought chat was trolling me when they mentioned fossils in this game. I was like, no, there's not. There totally is. <laughs> As you hear like VODs. Stream elements is like. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, zero build is really fun for Fortnite. I, I actually just really look forward to playing it. It's also a really good way for me and my friends to socialize because a lot of us are just very busy nowadays. So instead of seeing each other because some of us have moved outside the city and stuff instead of seeing each other we just kind of like squat up on fortnite for some rounds and it's super fun can i ban stream elements i'm like can you oh my god look at all the creepers there i don't think they'll come near me because of the cats but i'm a little bit nervous about this uh where's my bow there it is Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, bye. We found two fossils today, huh? Where? I feel like the top floor gets like extra high ceilings. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to need more bone block than this, though. This is definitely more than 45, isn't it? Classic. Classic drift. I'm gonna hide some soul sand in here too. It's just like insulation, okay? Don't worry about it. 
Yeah, I feel like the fossils, they would be in like the Badlands or something, right? Ooh, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Oh my gosh. It's like four blocks. I messed up, chat. That's okay. What's what's one more adventure? Oh, you mean the fossils in the nether? I see, I see. Cass, welcome on in. I hope the drawing's going well, and I hope you had a great weekend as well. The feeling of cracking their shield or one-shotting with the snipers on MASH. No, literally. I'm actually going to be sad when, like, the sniper's either removed or, like, whenever it's gone. Because it's just, like, especially when you pull a pretty good move, like, if somebody's mid-air and you knock them, it's just so good. Insulation's good. It won't let a soul through. Exactly. Yeah, I want to find like a real fossil in the overworld because I have yet to find one. I don't know if I ever have. Imagine getting a diamond sword from Jennifer Coolidge. No, literally. Literally. I just, I'm, I just feel like she would be perfect casting for one of those roles, you know? It's too good. Ow. Found yours in a desert? Yeah, I think those ones are pretty rare. So that's, that's pretty cool. Time for tea and a hot water bottle. Oh, those things are lifesavers. Hope you enjoy your tea though. Oh, are you coming back with me? I don't think you- ah! He'll turn into a zombie. It's fine. It's fine, chat. So funny, I feel like it's crazy how in one stream we can like throw up an entire structure for a build. Interior decorations though. Forever, takes forever. You weren't sure you even knew those fossils could spawn in overworld? Oh, literally same. I didn't know either until chat was like, yes. And I was like, huh? What? What? There we go. All right, toilet room. We're gonna need more of this too, lol. We'll just mix in some. Oh. Oh. Warped wood. Let's do that. Let's mix in some warped wood planks. Should I make this bathroom bigger? You know? I feel like I should. I feel like this is just not enough space for a bathroom. So two block. Or did I do two block last time? I don't remember. I am unsure. Hmm. Could do like a little shower right here. Just like a tiny one. I think that'll work. And then we have enough space for like a bedroom here. I would say like living space with like couch and stuff. Maybe a kitchen right around here, possibly. Could also shift over the door if we want, just like a little bit. Something like this. Just to give ourselves like a little bit more space on the side here. For like a little kitchen kitchenette if you will this one will be like more like an open loft style or something let's 
Stream's definitely making you want to play Minecraft. Let's go. It's like when I watch people play Fortnite, I'm like, well, guess I have to log in. <laughs> the way he imme immediately squared up. Yeah, those piglins, like, don't. They don't hesitate. It's funny how you can play Minecraft for 10 years and learn something new still. Honestly. Honestly. Isn't that wild? It's so true, though. Every time we play this game, I'm like, I learn something new on stream every single time. It's wild. Okay, I want to do like a cute little pink couch. I think that would be a vibe. Yeah, I almost got sniped by that piglin. He was he was squaring up indeed. He was ready to pull that trigger. Where did I put those like little rails? Uh oh here. Perfect. I'm gonna do like a classic uh kitchen install, uh landlord special. The only thing I dislike about Warped Wood is gathering it, same. And like, I know you can do that in the overworld as well, but I feel like it's such a pain that it is faster just going to the nether, but I hate dealing with the Enderman. Like, why is it guarded by such a an aggro mob? If you accidentally look at them the wrong way, they're like, hey, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Bro, I don't know, leave me alone. Hmm. gonna switch things around a bit hold on a second myself a little bit more room like here oops wrong way do like a little tv here and bedroom will be there kitchen could go over here somewhere do like a slightly bigger kitchen Do 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 And Dramada, welcome on in. How you doing? We're working on the interior apartments of uh the fish shop right now. So we completed this one. Uh we have like a small little apartment with like a bathroom. Whoops. Got ourselves a bathroom, a small little living space, a kitchen, and a bedroom. And now we're working on this one, which is the same layout, slightly bigger, um, slightly taller ceiling. And we're just like changing the layout slightly on it. Raze, welcome on in. And no worries, you spelled it right. You spelled it right. Boxy, so nice to see you. How you doing? Uh, what was I going to do again? Oh, yeah, I need more diorite. Cute little pink couch is what we'll make. We need to go to bed. Do a 100 days modded video? I am planning on doing another 100 days video. Probably going to start in the next couple weeks. I was originally holding off until I fixed my computer. Um, but at this point, that might be later rather than sooner. So I might just make a video instead. Once I get caught up on some other stuff, I definitely want to because I really enjoyed making 100 days. I have like the whole thing planned out with the seed and everything. It's just like a matter of doing it now. So, hopefully soon. I need my... Oh, here it is. This is where all the diorite is. Lol. Nice. Kaden, welcome on in. How you doing? 
Everything's looking great as usual. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Love the house. Thank you. Thank you. The colors and cats give me such stray feels. I've never played stray. I really want to try it, though. Really want to try it. You know, what? I'm going to switch these two around so I can put the cauldron with our like sink tap. I love this area, too, though. I think it's turning out like super cute. Maybe we'll make this into like an entire oven. So I'll do something like that and I can put, I don't know, like a button there or something. Then we'll put this back on top here. We'll do the hood over here. Oop. Something like that. This one's fancy. This is, this is a nice one. Oh yeah, this is cool. Then we could put like a bunch of storage on top with like barrels and stuff too. That's gonna look real nice. Look at this. This, this kitchen's much nicer than the one below. For sure. Very cool. Whee! Thank you, Azzy, for uh, providing the seed. I think that's what it is, too. Wait, let me double check. Sorry, didn't see that before. Yes, you are right. Stray is adorable. Yeah, I definitely want to give it a shot. It'd be a fun little playthrough. Ooh, what kind of salad do you have, Mouse? That sounds good. I love a good salad. I want to build, like, a little TV unit, too. If I were to... Ooh, actually, no. I have a good idea. I have a good idea. Dope blocks. How do I make those again? Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Redstone it is. The cat's making all that noise is so funny. It's all you hear whenever we stream here. Kind of obsessed with it, though. And we need, like, dark oak or something for the TV unit. It's all gonna come together. Gonna get a nice fancy sound system going. The ending breaks you for straight. I had a- see, I had a feeling that looks like one of those games where it's, like, Super fun, great mechanics, amazing story, but at the end, it just rips you to shreds. You know, I was like, I just have a feeling that's the vibe of, uh, of Stray. And you confirmed it. I wish we could do different color barrels, you know? I really wish we could. I hope that's like a future update someday. What mob do you think is annoying? Yeah, Wandering Trader. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Easily the most annoying mob. Easily. There we go. We got ourselves like a proper, oops, proper TV setup. Oh, speaking, speak of the devil. He was summoned. How did I know that would happen? You speak of him and he will arrive. Salmon uh, filet and hard-boiled eggs with some blackberries, avocado, uh, olive oil, and butter butter lettuce. So like a soft lettuce, like Boston leaf lettuce. Oh, sounds so, so good. Oh my gosh, I'm jealous. That sounds incredible. I appreciate a good salad now. I used to not when I was like younger. And now I'm like, if you get a salad that has like some protein, some fats, like some cheese or something... You don't feel bad for taking his llamas, honestly. What is going on here? What happened? Thanks for the lead, dude. 
Thanks for the lead. I don't think he can get up here. I think we're safe, chat. I think we are safe from this, this guy. I kind of prefer it without. That's good, I think. I'd also do something like this too. And then put like maybe a light there. Chest or something. Maybe a pot. We could put like a little potted plant there, like a fern, as if it's a, like a spice rack or something. I think that would look kind of cute. Yeah, super flat world, the wandering trader is necessary, unfortunately. But here, this guy comes over and just sells me nothing. What is he doing? Bad business model, I'll tell you what. Love the post-humans aesthetic where everything's overgrown and slowly falling apart. Ugh. It sounds like such a beautiful game. Am I ready to cry though? Chat, am I ready to cry? Uh, I need flower pots. That's what I'm looking for. Flower pots, ferns, all that stuff. Whoa! Do you know the coordinates of your rough location? Um, top right on that little mini map, that shows all my coordinates right now. The seed's actually very good. It has a lot of stuff around it. This is one of my favorite seeds. Red, homie, how's it going? So nice to see ya. Hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. Let's get just a couple like flowers and stuff. You know? Wonder if the wandering trader's farmable. Oh my gosh, I wonder. Sometimes I feel like he pops up way too often in some of my worlds for him not to be. Like there's gotta be something that's like bringing him back, you know? It's my annoyance, he knows. He knows that I am just so annoyed by him. Yeah, you could get like massive amounts of leads from that, so true. This, um, <laughs> this apartment unit is literally giving me the feeling of, like, when you live in an apartment and you, like, go to your neighbor's house and their layout is, like, literally different because the units were, like, constructed or renovated differently and you're like, what the heck? You have that in your apartment? We don't. I remember we used to do that at, um, at my old apartment because we were friends with our neighbors. So we'd, like go into each other's apartments and be like, look what I have. Do you have this? And they're like, what? No, that's so weird. I remember one of the units had a dishwasher and the rest in, and we were so jealous. I was like, why? Please, I need one. I love that straight soundtrack gives me lo-fi Steven Universe. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. Heck yeah. Question is, when is anyone ready to cry? Never. So true. It's a bittersweet cry because it felt, fits well into the story. Sometimes you just need one of those, you know? <laughs> Wayward, exactly. You need a good cathartic cry. You're doing all right trying to fight off a cold that's uh trying to take over with lots of tea and chicken noodle soup while i do some replay mod stuff oh heck yeah replay mod stuff good that you're getting all that stuff done i'm sorry you're feeling sick though man i feel like the colds and stuff have been so rough this year i um the like bronchitis i had or whatever that stuck around for like 
a long time. I pretty much just kicked it only a couple weeks ago, I would say. It was brutal. I felt so bad when I was streaming <laughs> a couple weeks ago because I was constantly coughing. Hope you, I hope you kick whatever you got soon though, Red. Also, stream's been good. We've just been decorating interiors. We've been doing like modern apartment settings. It's been super fun. Okay, I need a bed in here. I don't know what type of bed though. I kind of like the pink theme we've got going here though. So I'm gonna like, I might do pink, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, ba 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 ba, trapdoors. Okay, I need to eat. Pink. Where is it? I'm gonna need these. I don't know where I put the cherry wood though. I probably just can't see it. My eyes are not allowing me to chat. There it is. Found it. Perfect. Today I was good and didn't order in. I used to, um, I use food I have in the house, have fisherman's pie. Ooh, what's a fisherman's pie? We're having beef pies tonight and I'm very excited. Listen, mama, I feel that. When you get like kind of on the kick of uh, ordering food, it is, it's kind of hard to kick that. It really is. So GG's for, uh, for ordering, for, sorry, not ordering tonight. I'm gonna need more cherry wood. More cherry wood! Where do I have some? Ah, there. Oh! Nope, because I forgot to cut down parts of this. Great. <laughs> Why'd I do that? Ow. Future Drift, aka me, is not happy about this. There's probably lots stuck in here. Yeah, there is. What was I doing here? I'm a monster. Jeez. There's gotta be more in there. Right? It's a frozen one? Heck yeah. Yeah, we're having frozen ones too. Can't go wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna shear these. Actually, no, let me just... There we go. I don't know why I was breaking it with my pickaxe. I always forget that I have... That I have these. Oh! Silk touch too. Look at that. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Okay, I think that's fine. I'm good with that. Trying to build a house, but I'm not good at building any tips. I would say start small with like, um, if you're just learning to build houses, I think like just like classic rectangular shapes. There's so much you can do with just a rectangle. Keep it small, like one story. I mean, even look at like all of these little variations that I do. These are only like five by sevens. So keep it small. Even if you do a classic little roof with just like stairs going zigzagging up, you're good to go. You can mix in any type of uh, palette that you want. And um, slowly you'll just like kind of like add details to it. Some leaves, maybe a chimney for some life and add things to the outside that are relevant to the build, like maybe some barrels or haystacks. And I would say a lot of the stuff that like makes a build look good and come to life is just like the way you detail it. One hour left of work, let's go. You got this, you got this. Ha, 
have no idea what a fisherman pie is, but I'm happy that a human saving money. Honestly, facts. Man, sometimes I think I've talked about this on stream before where I'm like, we found like an Uber deal. Um, we don't really order Uber Eats anymore because it's just like so expensive, but we found a deal. It was like buy one, get one free. We got dinner. It was like two separate things that me and Big Tiny Duck got for like 20 bucks. And we were like, if we had made this on our own, it literally would have cost more money. Like that's so wild. Brutal. I wonder if this is too open. I feel like it is. That's too much. Also, it's not even right. Um, hmm. Maybe just like blue wall all the way around. Yeah. Cause we have the pink couch. Yeah, bronchitis, that sounds awful. Glad you got over it. Def scenes like stuff's going around right now. Glad the streams are going well. Heck yeah. Yeah, no, I had it. I had it when I got back from the UK. I must have gotten it like while I was there on the plane. Um, it was just hard to kick. It was wild. It just felt like it would never go away. Do you guys recommend building your own PC or buying one? I feel like there's some really good pre-builds on the market. Um, I mean, if you have the confidence to build one, I say go for it because I think the thing that I like most about building my own PC is that, um, now I know how to do it. So if I ever run into issues, I can easily swap things out. I think that's the best thing about it. Like I know how to troubleshoot stuff now and like what to do if something goes wrong. But at the same time, like if it's something that like you're either not interested or do in doing or not comfortable with like it's totally cool to buy one as well i think you can't go wrong with either just trying to figure out what to do with that wall kind of thinking like two tones would be kind of sweet but might do yeah Ooh, spruce, good shout, good shout. You know what? Maybe just a classic spruce would be nice too. I'm gonna try that. I would love vertical slabs. I wish, I wish. Wonder if like this is too much too. Hold on. I'm gonna try it by like one block out. Might be a little bit too much though. Not really. Oh, this is kind of dope. Okay, I like this. I'm a fan of this layout. The spruce would look really good too, though. I just want to try it um with spruce quickly, just to see. Cause I think the red's nice with the, the warped wood, but the spruce would look good with something like this as well. Ooh, both are nice, but I think I think I dig the terracotta more for this one. That is nice though. I think maybe because there's just like barrels and stuff that we have as well. So it like, it matchy matches the spruce a bit too much, but I really like the terracotta. Terracotta and cherry wood go so well together though. You're so right about that. Okay, nice. I like these. It's very, like, it's a very cramped space, but I like it. Super cool. I'm 
Tried to play Fortnite and it said internet error? No. No. Hopefully your internet's stable enough soon so you can get some, get some of those rounds in. All right. That's looking good. I actually really like the layout of this one too. It's interesting. I love this TV unit. <laughs> it's so silly. It's ridiculous. Oh, geez. All right, chat. We've been live for three hours. We might have to wrap it up there today. We didn't finish that, um, the last apartment. Let's just like hop up really quickly to take a look at what we did. But we got pretty close. We got pretty close. So let's just hop in to see what we did. So we got this one with a little bathroom and stuff looking super cute. Got like a little, um, little kitchen, little sleeping area. And then we've got this bad boy up here. Similar but different layout. So we got this. This person really values a good sound system, you know? They were like, I'm going to invest in it. The other person downstairs, they're like, I don't even have a TV, dude. I'm just reading. Sometimes I use my iPad to watch, like, videos. I don't care. This person's got, like, a nice, like, really nice, like, hood. That, that thing ventilates, you know? It definitely, definitely ventilates. Lots of storage some herbs bedroom oh wait no this is the toilet toilet with a window look at that wow amazing and then this one is going to be the bedroom actually this is quite a big space for the bedroom i think i i layout managed this one better than i did the last one the high ceilings also help to help too though so super super good so we'll finish this one um on stream next week so on Friday on Twitch, uh, we stream at the same time on Twitch if you want to come say hello. We are working on this apartment. Uh, we're kind of bouncing between the two. I just didn't want to, like, finish this one while we, like, in a separate, uh, on a separate platform. So that's the one that we're working on on Friday. We're just going to be vibing on Twitch, uh, 12 p.m. EST. If you don't have a Twitch, you can easily find my VODs on my second channel if you want to catch up on uh, some of the content that you may miss. No worries, it's all up on there. I'm putting the VODs up now. So, with that, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. And I had so much fun today. Yeah, this was just a vibe, right? You missed it. You were just straight up vibing. Me too. I was just kind of like, I feel like we just puttered away today. How did, how is it three hours already? I feel like we just like got in the zone today and we're absolutely vibing. Reyna, welcome on in. Sorry, I'm just ending stream now. Can't go on Twitch? No worries. If you want to catch the VODs, um, hit up. Oops. I think it's second. It might be, it might be a little bit delayed. Might be a little bit delayed. Hold on a second. There we go. Hit up Drifty2 um, for all of your vod needs we are close to a thousand subs on that channel as well so let's go let's go i'm gonna post one of the vods pro honestly probably as soon as i'm done this i have one ready to go so if you want to check out some of the past stuff it's all gonna be there for you thank you so much again everybody for today i had so so much fun and if you want to catch any of the youtube vods um those ones are on this channel right here just hit that live tab they'll all be there we have a full library of those ones so you're good to go you don't have to go anywhere for those ones um, I had such a wonderful day today. Such a vibe. Can't wait for the next one. But if not, um, I will see you all on Friday on Twitch. Hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you so much again for all of the, uh, the super chats, all of the memberships, and just for hanging out. Always the best chill vibes ever. All right, everybody. I'll catch you all later. Have a wonderful week. And I'll see ya. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Ruth, where are you? Ruth says bye too. Ruth says bye.